What is going on everyone? YouTube is officially receiving <laughs> my content. How are you beautiful people doing this morning? We are playing in the Gen Con Online DC1 Grand Prix event for the Digimon TCG and we are gonna have some fun. I have no idea how many rounds it'll be. My guess is eight to nine. Should be a fun, nice, long day of Digimon, which will lead into another long day of Digimon. Tomorrow I'm doing uh, the Top Cut Events Evo Cup, also for the Set 5 format, which will be super exciting. I'll be streaming that on YouTube and Twitch as well. And then Sunday, fun fact, I have a store championship. So three days in a row of Digimon action for your boy. Let's see if we can have a nice jam-packed weekend. How is everyone doing? Let me know if you can hear my voice, say hi, if you're playing in today's event, spoil what deck you're going to play, and if you're joining us for the first time ever during one of my live streams, hello, type hi, I'm new in the chat, and don't forget to follow me over on Twitch, because today's live stream will be a dual one, half here on YouTube and then the other half over on Twitch, link is down below to my Twitch channel, also type in the chat, exclamation point Twitch, so you don't miss out on any of the action, how is everybody doing today? I'm participating in the Gen Con event. Also, get after it, Richard. Just watching? No worries. Do we know if anyone's going to be streaming? I know there's the IRL events that might get streamed by, like, PPG and stuff. Do we know if, if um any of the online events are going to get streamed? You're doing Top Cut as well? I'll be head touching that one. Ah, thanks, Alex. Happy to hear it, man. Best of luck with that grind, brother. Hopefully I, ho hopefully, I won't need to call on you at all. <laughs> hopefully, we'll be good to go. Any hints to what deck you're playing? Um, I want, I wanted to build a, I want, I was this close to playing like a super jank deck, and now I'm playing a minimal jank deck. So like, there, there's super jank, there's minimal jank, and then there's like tier one sweatiness, right? I'm like in the middle. All right, so I'm kind of sweaty, kind of jank. I'm looking forward to it. I think tomorrow or Sunday. I think Sunday I'm I'm gonna play Jank. I think I think Sunday we're gonna play Jank, even though I want my invite. <laughs> even though like I want to be sweaty and like try hard and like do well, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna play Jank on Sunday. <laughs> but, but you guys won't know. I, I I I might record the store championship, but I might not. Doing Gen Con and then playing in the EO Eva Cup, getting on that grind. He <laughs> he, dude. Best of luck to you, friend. Stay woke. Good luck today. I'm playing two first online tournament for me. Robert, best of luck to you, man. Oh, sevens in the chat. Kill it, my man. Good luck, bud. Ah, thanks, David. Appreciate it. D Brigade, please. That is mega jank. What are you talking about? Did you not see my tier list? That's like mega jank. In the in-person event, and everyone was amazing, fantastic, upstanding community as always. Happy to hear it, Zach. If, if anyone did participate in the IRL Gen Con event, what was that like? Was that fun? I didn't hear anything about it. What won? On a delicate plan on the Digimon, if it hit the Zwart Defeat, does the Zwart Defeat get his effect? I believe Delicate Plan just says option cards, right? And he's not an option card. However, if it says all security effects, then the answer is yes. However, because he is a Digimon, that means the battle would ensue. So, so, so your dude needs to be more than 13,000 DP when that happens. Otherwise, he'll die. He'll die. <laughs> You're playing Omni Swart Turbo. Jank is the way, always. So many drop requests already in the server, lol. Really? Oh, today's event might be shorter than we thought. <laughs> it's errated to say options only. Ha ha, I knew it. So yeah, even though it doesn't say it, it's options only. It's just like the War Greymon from BT1. It's just as an option card. Hey Steven, did you know there's only five perfect films in existence? One of them better be Dead Poets Society. And the second one better be The Matrix. And the other three, I'm open to interpretation. <laughs> 10 minutes y'all, T minus 10 minutes until pairings go up. Just a heads up for anyone that is wondering. 
This is the deck box that I'll be playing with today. Anyone have this deck box? Let me know. R.I.P. Robin. Mm. Oh, sevens in the chat. Sometimes people do. Um, sometimes people sign up like well in advance because they know they have to and then stuff comes up. You know, it's Friday. It's Friday morning for a lot of like it's Friday at 10 a.m. for me. Right. A lot of people work. <laughs> I had to get special permission from work to dip out early, man. Like that was not easy. And when and when a, and when a tournament like Gen Con says you don't have to play to get your participation prizes, they can go yes, we can get something and not have to just waste our time, or like lie and say we did play, just like scoop all of our games. The Matrix, Willy Wonka, and the Chocolate Factory, Spider Man into the Spider Verse, Forrest Gump, and Pulp Fiction. The Empire Strikes Back could be an option. I think the fact it's it's a sequel hurts. <laughs> Uh, Willy Wonga and the Chocolate Factory. That's a weird one. It's evening, so it's perfect for me to check it out. <laughs> what deck you playing today, Steven? I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> I'll have to find, do some digging to see what won since deck lists weren't available to the public at the time. Although, I'm sure whoever watched Top Tables have an idea in person with something else. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Good luck, my dude. Thank you so much, Grim. Appreciate you. Yeah, guys. Today should be fun, man. Should day, today should be fun. Hopefully, hopefully it's night. Hopefully it's like seven rounds. So I can just like dip at like 5 p.m. Wouldn't that be just like legend? Do you get your participation goodies? I am. Yeah, I'll, I'll get everything. I'm all signed up, set my tickets in, got my deck list submitted last night because I'm a responsible bean. And I knew that I would be too lazy this morning to come up with something. Did you see the new Tamer Evo kit from Premium Bandai? I did, and I pre-ordered some. Looks good. Wait, did I pre-order them? I think I opened the page and I, I might have forgotten, but I did look at it. I, I, can you actually pre-order? I remember looking and I couldn't see it, but then I found another link that I think was good. Oh well. I know you have to like what the 14th or something. Good luck, Steven. Ah, thanks, Richard. What do you get for participating? It depends on which on which package you buy. There's the VIP and then there's the regular. I got the regular. Uh, which is like the promo cards, some event packs, something else. And I think the VIP one is like some Imperial sleeves, an Imperial mat, and something else. Uh yo, what's going on, Eli? You playing today, brother, or, or, were, you, or were you doing uh, the IRL one, or both? I guess you could do both if you're out there, huh? I do believe that in-person is a tad bit more draining. Not having the ability to chill, eat, relax after a match was evident. Have to hang out. Yeah, if it's like your first ever IRL event, yeah, it's it's gonna be a, a world rocker. But us veterans, well, yo, I come with the backpack, I got the Nintendo Switch, I got the bottles of water, I got the granola bars, the protein bars, the bananas, uh, the beef jerky, you name it, it's in there. Battle fatigue is not hitting us when we go. I already have insoles in my shoes because I got flat feet. Oh, we're living on a moon, boys and girls. I'm just chilling today? Ah, no worries. I entered for the VIP package, but I have homework plus work, so I'm just collecting participation. Hey! Sad to hear it, man, but those are some sick prizes, so you get after it, homie. Hey, hey, Bear, I didn't collect anything for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! yesterday. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, alright? If I could've just taken a nap yesterday, I would've walked away with the same amount of stuff I played with. You know what I mean? <laughs> what games do I play on Twitch? I'm always rocking my Pokemon. Ugh! I'm always rocking, um... It's over there. What, what am I rocking? I got the Smash. I got Odyssey. If I'm like with people, I'll, I'll bust out some fighting games like Smash and I also have that really cool My Hero one. I forget the name of it, but it's really fun. Like, it, it feels like Budokai Tenkaichi, but it's My Hero Academia, which is super funny. Alrighty, four minutes. 
siding slash playing versus Unchained is rough. Bear, you did see it, dude. Literally, none of, none of my side cards worked. I thought about putting in Lava Golem unironically, and I'm like, bro, the chances that he'll land on two dudes exactly make no sense. Like, if I can Lava Golem goes in him, I think I win. But it's one of those things of like, ah, why do I not draw engine? <laughs> I need I need to just slam Golden Lord down on the board in defense mode and say you deal with this and while you try to I'll build some stuff man I just I just I was so flabbergasted like I did not know what any of the cards like I knew what the cards did okay I knew about it but I didn't know like how they interacted with my cards and I go there's nothing I can do I literally lost a thousand life points to play skill drain and turn off my own freaking Ecclesia like what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you serious bro and then i lose in time because the literally the second i announce solemn judgment they call time i go are you serious if i just pass he can't kill me because <laughs> he was in main phase he wasn't in battle phase i would win because i won the first game jesus man i can't i can't i can't with, with, with what happened yesterday bro but we're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh today. We're playing Digimon. Ain't, ain't none of that happening. I've never gone in time in Digimon. I don't plan on doing it today. I'll be good to go. <laughs> oh, man. I was, I was straight up flummoxed, chat. I was straight, straight flummoxed yesterday. Who do I main in Smash? Oh, I don't really main anyone right now. But back when Smash first came out, who was my main back then? I don't really... I like Falco, I guess, is my best answer because I play him the most. Lich is nice, though. Dude, it was so fun. I love, I love my Trap Lich deck. I love Trap Lich. It's probably my favorite control deck this format. I'm gonna jam some more Sky Striker, I think, in the next coming weeks and see if that's like more my fancy because I do like that deck a lot and there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with it. And I think it's ban list proof, so that's pretty cool. Or, or they'll just make it better by giving us back more engages. Like the more engages we get back, the better, you know what I mean? Oh, that'd be pretty sick. Or, or give us give us Hornet drones to two. I, I That'd be fun. Have some extra extenders through... Um, uh, through like ghost spells and stuff that could be sick What is your worst deck what is what is your worst deck you ever go against what is the worst deck you ever win against? Hmm in Digimon what was the worst deck? I mean Starter decks suck like I've never fought. I've, I've never fought like a hodgepodge I should just say what, what deck I think is the worst right now that people for some reason play. Um, people for some reason, like, I truly believe that security control right now, like, the cards within it, like, aren't good. Like, the version of security control we have, like, we're still playing, like, like, you will play, like, I'm, let, me, let me think of a card that it just, it just doesn't belong in the deck right now. People, like, un, people, like, unironically will, um, play Trident Revolver, and I go, why? <laughs> what <laughs> what is that doing in there or, or 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 we'll see yellow builds that are still playing edens and i go but we have transcendent sword and ultimate flare <laughs> what are you doing like bad security control decks i guess come set six like every card's broken so it's fine Yo, Prank Kids Eldlich is a real deck, by the way. Prank Kids Eldlich. Bear, I'm going to need you to explain that one to me. But while you do that, I'm going to go really quick. Wait. Pairing should be up, no? Did they? I don't see pairings. Hmm. Now I'm just confused. Busting out the laptop, boys. Ah. 
I see people, okay, no, they're just hanging out. I was like, people are going into tables, but I don't see pairings going up, but they're just hanging out. I see. I guess, I guess they're still sorting out all that ticket stuff. No worries. Good luck, man. I have faith in you. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thoughts on Eosmon? Wh uh, what? <laughs> people are dumb. It's taking TOs longer. Ah, oh, no worries. There's some profiles on YouTube. It's because pranks are just one card starters. I'm not exactly sure on the ratios, but it makes the deck really hard to side versus. I guess. So like the Eldritch engine is minimum seven cards or no. It's minimum 10 cards. The prank kids engine is minimum. So what is that? 11, 14, 17, 17 cards. And so that's 27 cards. You can have like one extender in the form of like instant fusion or like maybe one copy of poly could be cool. Uh, and then you do 12 hand traps still if you want to, but you probably would do nine. So you can do more extenders like one for one. Um, Trying to think what other cards are in that deck right now for pure prank kids. I can't think of many others. I'm not sure what other good Eldritch cards you play besides just engine. I guess you, I guess you would play cursed Eldland in that one too, huh? No, you wouldn't. Would you play Cursed Outland? I guess you would need a way besides just hard drawing Sanguine to like do stuff. What do you feel are Yellow Green Rookie Rush's bad matchups? Um, really? Okay, so bad matchups. It's hard to say because mass removal isn't the easiest to come by. Green obviously with Nidhogmon's not fun. Anything with heavy ultimate flares is gonna be gonna be a challenge. But uh. Like even yellow decks, like yellow, yellow Lord Nightmon slash Angermon. Like if they just get to attack with Lord Nightmon, like you're already losing at that point. Like you need to kill them or wipe their entire board in a single turn. But the only way you do that is if you have like 10 dudes in play. So I don't know how you're going to make that one happen, Chief. So it's like one of those things of like, at a certain point, every, every deck is a bad matchup. If you're not drawing well, or you're not pressuring enough slash controlling enough, um, it's more easy to tell like what the good matchups are, right? Which, which there's a lot of. Like I would say Lord Naiman on average is a good matchup because of how you can just naturally progress, but it, it can get sketchy. Uh, Purple Lilithmon, <laughs> easiest matchup in the world because um, you have the removal for days and they don't. <laughs> um, Chaos Gallimon, like a Chaos Gallimon pure deck could be challenging because they have way more removal and they can like stop all your removal, which is pretty funny. Um, and they play like Gazimon that, that they can loop, which is super annoying for you. Um, uh, red, blue, those are all good matchups for you. Um, any of the decks, really, even Hexablau, as long as you draw your spirals. Like, like really, as long as you see your spirals, man. Like every deck at a certain point is a good matchup. Should I play something fun or something that is competitive? I'm not, I'm not in person played yet, just uh, online tourneys. Christopher, you play whatever you want to, man. Like, it, like I, I, I always say, play the deck you feel most comfortable with. You really like it. It does really well because you like side to beat back row or you side to beat prank kids lol. Well, siding to beat back row like doesn't playing twin twister like beat both those I guess but like if you but like if you kill a conk you're like, thanks for the free lord <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I guess if you kill conk it's like thanks or you could just chain the trap card that they that they target Like if they go like like if you set like it's like setting three with prank kids to like out the twins and they target your two L, uh, your two golden cards. You just go, okay, activate Conquistador, Chain Sanguine, kill something on your turn, then Butler. Oh, 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 oh my God! And then you can, and then you can. Oh wait, no, but then you're locked into zombies for that turn. You can't Pandemonium. So I think, I think there's gonna be like some, some trick. Like, 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 like maybe you would like use none of them to save them for the end phase, so we can have follow up. Like if you know they're not targeting your Pandemonium. If they are targeting your Pandemonium, that means you're not summoning Butler anyway. So you just go for the Eldritch that turn. You keep your Bow Wow Bark in play. You mill the uh, the Meow Meow, and then you get the resources back to just go for it on the next turn. That that's the that's the actual play. So like, if they hit Twin Twister, sorry, if they Twin hit your hit, hit your Pandemonium, then you go for the Scarlet cards. If they don't, then you save everything and then just go for Butler and then top it off with a Golden Lord in your following turn and just go for game. Yeah. Okay. Gotta use the Yu-Gi-Oh brain when you're thinking about that kind of stuff, folks. Gotta use it. <laughs> you can lock yourself into certain cards. You don't want to do that. Uh, 
Ah, uh, thanks for the good luck, Max. If you're playing today too, friend. Oh no, no, you're no, you're at Gen Con, huh? So you're so so you probably played yesterday. Oh no, no, I think you commentated yesterday. Never mind. I know you were there though. Do you think Digimon is about to enter the area of no true best deck of the format, as in nothing is tier zero and all tier ones are interchangeable? I think we've always been in that realm. I mean, the the, the closest we ever got to tier zero was, I would say, Blue Omni. You know, and and even then, like there was a bunch of stuff people were playing. And half the reason why we couldn't play other really good tier one decks was the cards didn't exist. Like we, like people could not play Turbo Millie Black. If Turbo Millie Black was a deck that was ever present in the set one meta, y'all, that deck would have been house in tournaments. It was so good. Have you read Millennium on? Do you think Gabumon, Gabu Bond? <laughs> That's a weird way to say it. It's BOF, Bond of Friendship, is a good counter to Jessmon. Do I think Bond of Friendship is a good counter to Jessmon? They're both OTK decks, so I feel like the answer is no. Um, I guess the better question is which one do I think can set up faster? Um, they both fetch everything they need. However, you have Hammer Spark and they don't, so I guess the argument falls to Bond of Friendship being able to set up faster. Um, and if they play Omnimon, like, you can just die to their security. Uh, also, I think Judgment of the Blade does something. Doesn't it, like, play a Sister Mons? Also, their Sister Mons can be annoying, too. They actually do attack with their Jessmon early. They can pressure you to kind of force you to go into your plays when you're not ready. Then they can survive, and then they can beat you on the crackback. So I feel like I feel like it's a, a an interesting matchup for sure. I'm not sure if one is particularly favored because they're both just, like, set up, set up, set up, going for the kill or going for a mass amount of advantage that you can't come back from. So, hard to say. If you have to pick, which starter deck would you pick and why? Vimon or Guumon? I'd pick the I'd pick the Guumon one because I want I want Atomic Blaster <laughs> in my in my collection. Um, but I'm gonna get both, so it's no problem. Don't see side decking in Digimon coming anytime soon. We're never gonna have a side deck in Digimon. Ever. Never. Never. It's never gonna exist. What deck are you most excited for in BT6? The bonds, I think the bonds are going to be like a revolution in deck building. Uh, like if you guys have never seen a bond of friendship or a bond of bravery deck list, look, look some up on uh, on some Japanese websites. They're insane. Also, it's got a. Oh, okay. Well, that, that doesn't concern me. Um, so the bonds are really cool. Um, but another deck that I'm really excited to play is Tidemon Rush. It's all these really powerful, like, discard effects and wind discarded effects. It's going to be, like, a super fun, like, resource slash pressure engine that'll kind of always exist in purple from now on. And I'm kind of about it. And I, I can't wait to see what we English sweaty players come up with to, like, break it <laughs> on more than it was already broken in Japan. Royal Knights does sound fun. Actually, <clears throat> it's low-key going to be a pretty cool, like, tier 1.5 deck, I think, for the entire format. And depending on how it, like, gets renovated by us people that, like, love jamming, like, Turbo Attack to Defeat, like, I could totally see um, Royal Knight uh, Defeat, like, doing really well. I could totally see that. But how was playing Yu-Gi-Oh again? So I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for actually a couple weeks, and so far it's been super fun. My first remote duel tournament was yesterday. I played Trap Bell Lich, didn't want to, wanted to play Prank Kids, but that's beside the point. Um, honestly, it was a lot of fun. I, had, I met some really cool people. I did not perform well at all, but that was to be expected. I suck. I, there's a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh that I do not understand. Um, I was playing a deck that's very interaction focused, like understanding how my cards interact with my opponents is very important. And I fought against two decks that I did not know what a single card in their deck did. So it was kind of hard to plan out my interactions in a way that let me win the game. We went to time a bunch, it was annoying. But the process of doing all that and experiencing with all of y'all live on Twitch was so much fun and I can't wait to do it again. I'll probably be doing like one or two remote dual live streams for Yu-Gi-Oh a week. Um, might even do one here on YouTube. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, also, follow me on Twitter so you guys can get some cool updates of like some things I want to share with my process of getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not sure if I'm going to make content for Yu-Gi-Oh um, right away. I, de I definitely want to wait until I have like more to say or like a an opinion that I think is based within the community. Um, also, I'll probably be making a lot of post ban list content or content about the ban list because the reason I'm starting playing Yu-Gi-Oh! like again right now is because I want to kind of be a part of a newer format with people. Like, I want to get some ground, some roots into Yu-Gi-Oh! and then I want Yu-Gi-Oh! to change. And then I want to experience that change with the community so that way I can like 
catch up with them and maybe make some calls and then like 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 kind of get my footing going like I, di I didn't want to start in the middle of a format i wanted to start in one that was solved and then have it break and then solve it again that's what i wanted to do i think i think that's the best way for me to learn and grow and hopefully get as competitive as possible as fast as possible um there's there's actually the remote dual extravaganzas happening this weekend and i was super bummed that i couldn't sign up for any of them because i i found out about them after i signed up for the evo cups i 1000 percent would have just blindly played in in, 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 in in an extravaganza and like went x8 loss i would have loved it it would have been so much fun but uh but no i'm playing digimon all weekend so i'll be watching from afar and looking up at what people do at the end of this format that's what i'll be doing I got out of Yu-Gi-Oh right before Lynx came out. I quit Yu-Gi-Oh back around, I don't even remember what format it was, but it was like 20, I, I like summer of 2012, whatever decks were around then, I quit. Um, but I never really owned any competitive decks. I never really was like a competitive deck builder. Um, I did, the, the, the most competitive deck I ever played was not even my own, I borrowed it. It was basically an Edison format Machina gadget deck back in like 2010. It was super fun, really cool deck. One of my favorites I've messed around with and one that I kind of understood really well and I liked. But like I said, it wasn't mine. And uh, the reason why I quit Yu-Gi-Oh was because all the friends that I played with on a regular basis either moved away, went to high school, or they quit. <laughs> so I was just like, I was I was sort of like reverse peer pressured out of playing something. Um, when I totally could have kept playing by myself. I just didn't have the urge to do it. Like I, like, I didn't have fun going by myself to locals at the time. I, I didn't realize that going to locals is a way to make friends. You don't have to go with your friends, right? Like I was just a dumb, like a uh, 13 year old boy that thought my group is no longer doing something. So why should I do it? Uh, Cause I like it, duh. Uh, and then for the past like 10 years, I've been thinking to myself, why did I quit Yu-Gi-Oh? Did I hate Yu-Gi-Oh? Like for the past like two and a half years now, I've been like, just like watching from afar, all the friends I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, all the content creators making Yu-Gi-Oh content, all the people killing it in the game. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Yu-Gi-Oh is freaking awesome, dude. I, 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 I was always tempted like every single month to get back in. And, I, and, and for once in my life, I just succumbed to those urges and I committed. And I've been playing it for the past two weeks. And I got to say, so far, I was right. <laughs> I, I've been enjoying it. But it's been, it's been frustrating and it's been difficult. Um, like, this is the first time ever I've ever joined a card game that's already existed like whenever i start a card game it's when it's a new card game <laughs> it's not when it's already existing for 20 years like this is the first time i've ever done that what okay that's not true i did join pokemon but i did it really badly like like the first year and a half that i played pokemon doesn't even count i was i was i was i was given a deck <laughs> <laughs> I was given a deck. I rocked it for a year. Lost. The first time I ever built my own deck was when stuff started to pick up. And I was like, okay, okay. Now we're going. Now we're going places. But yeah, enough Yu-Gi-Oh. We're waiting for pairings here for Digimon. Um, but if anyone does want to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Digimon, Vanguard, everything's always fair game in my live streams. You guys know this, but I want to focus. I want to dial in. I want to get ready to go because you know what? We're the true champion. We're here to take some stuff down today. We're here to we're here to ruin people's dreams <laughs> and achieve greatness. We're here to stomp on everybody else. To, to this is one of the favorite. I actually you know what I you I was I was about to say this is my this is the, this is why I love that you guys can't clip live streams, but but like you can clip on YouTube now actually. So that's probably not a good thing to say out of context. <laughs> it's all right though. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, cool. They just had a thing about streaming. For a second, I thought I, I double checked. I, I like, like it's cool. I was like, what? What am I playing today? It's a secret. Are you planning to return to Vanguard Zero when G comes out? Honestly, balancing like real life Vanguard, real life Yu-Gi-Oh, real life Pokemon, real life Digimon might be tough to then balance the mobile game Vanguard Zero. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Like, like if I'm super tempted by freaking like, like when the cross comes out, come, come back and talk to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, hold on, hold on. Let me know about that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? How much would it cost to build a winnable war Greymon deck? Actually pretty dirt. Like they're the Greymon tribal deck that I like plays like victory Greymon, which is a rare blitz Greymon who's dirt. 
Nokia's, uh, the Blitz Omnimon, that's kind of dirt. Um, then everything else is like commons and rares. You can get some starter deck like alternate arts and stuff, but you don't need to. Are you going to try Master Duel? Hell yes, I'm going to try Master Duel, Eli. What? You can qualify through worlds in a video game? Let's go. I, I stream on Twitch, you guys. Like, it, like, it, like me playing, like, who needs Dueling Book? Who needs YGO Omega? I'm going to have Master Duel. I'm going to grind the crap out of that crap. And we're going to play it all the time on stream. It's going to be freaking dope. <laughs> That's going to be the new Remote Duel local, like, uh, like live streams, man. I, I can't wait to do that. And I, 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 I hear we're getting an, an, an announcement for that, I think, uh, towards the end of this month, which is also why I wanted to, to start Yu-Gi-Oh! right away, so that way I can get ready for that. <laughs> Just won my sword championship with Yellow Mass Day last night. Had a really close game with Shoutmon. Get after it, Retro Chaz. We are earning invites left and right today. Yeah, Master Jewel is going to be sick. sweet, man. I made one with secret uh with secret rare metal Greymon and only three level sixes and one BT1 Omni to counter. Nice. Yeah, BT1 Omni could work really well too. How hard is, is it to get into Digimon from a new player perspective? Um I'm not sure what like a common like I don't like I like so like if you don't want to play like so if you don't want to go like no compromises immediately it's really easy to just pick up the game and start learning all you realistically need are like two starter decks which if you can find them at walmart will run you like 20 bucks 25 30 bucks if you can find them like on ebay or um secondhand sellers like vendors and stuff depending on which ones you're getting they'll be a bit more expensive but the best way i've always said is to just pick up the game learn it understand the flow of it Learn as much as you can about the cards that exist and then make your decision for what deck you want to play Because pretty much all the decks are pretty much the same um, Some decks can be more expensive than others like Lilith is more expensive than Mass Day But both those decks are probably like equal in how good they are And then over time like once you learn more about what's coming out in BT6, BT7 You can like properly plan for stuff, get your collection sorted Like it's really easy to prepare in Digimon And then once you're prepared all the decisions seem really easy so like expensive like oh if like if over three months you spend two to three hundred dollars is that expensive to you i don't know it depends on the person um but that's what i would say is probably like if you look at that time frame that's probably how much you need to spend to like get into the game and start playing at a level that is competitive but most of that time is spent researching and just generically playing and maybe playing through things like tts octagon untapped to like learn decks and then committing to the decks is what is what costs money that's what i'll tell you and then yeah you can also build super cheap decks too that are super viable like green rookie rush stuff like that which are some of them are actually stupidly good <laughs> but I, I i wouldn't recommend committing to any of those decks unless you want to play them is, is what i wanted to say like that's why research is important that's why getting the flow is good like what you want your experience to be that will define how expensive or inexpensive playing anything is. Like, you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! for super cheap. Like, there are videos of people winning big events with, like, $70 decks, right? Like, like Pac did a whole series called Balling on a Budget where literally he spent $10 a week and he, like, got top 16 or something at an extravaganza. Like, that was insane, right? Like, like it's all about what you want out of it make that happen <laughs> if you don't want that you don't need it you know um that's what i'll say are you gonna try to get any of the new tamer evolution box i will i i clicked on the link but it said i couldn't pre-order yet i'll try again later but i believe they're open till the 14th right in which case we have tons of time it's not it's not really a, a thing of casual or in casual it's more of a thing of like what 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 part of your life does playing a TCG whatever it is fill like what part of it is it ask yourself that question and then try to answer it with the game like, is it a way for you to challenge yourself is it a way for you to think you're the best at something is it a way for you to scratch that like businessman hustler itch in the back of your brain that's like I want to grind I want to grind I want to grind I want to be at the top what is it 
find it find what it does for you and then make it happen and then do and then take take no compromises just make that happen whatever you got to do to make that happen make it happen That's awesome. It was. I, I'm loving it, guys. Hold on. Where's my... Here, I'll show off my Yu-Gi-Oh deck really quick. I'm still missing one card from it, but this is my field center because I, I don't actually own a field center. These are some tokens. So this is my Prank Kids deck right here. Access code. And so I am still missing a card from this. I'm still missing a copy of Prank Kids Pranks because for some reason I can't, like this is the only card I was missing from yesterday. So this is Prank Kids Pranks. Then we got some Polly, some Triple Tax, some Imperms, some Nibs. Got the Kids, Baylors, All By, Pandemonium, standard stuff. So the Tamer Evolution Box, I can actually show you. So does anyone remember that product that came out a long time ago, back when like... Sorry, I was gonna burp. Um, so the Tamer Evolution Box is basically one of those, do you see that little white box back there? Underneath the, the storage cases, this one right here. It's basically like a long 1K that'll have a bunch of cool promos in it. It'll have a play mat. It'll have some sleeves. It'll have a memory gauge and maybe even have a memory counter. Not sure if they said that, but um, yeah, it's just like a nice way to kind of celebrate. Like I think I, I think this one's like an anniversary thing. So like one was for the release and this one I think is for like an anniversary of Digimon and there's a lot of really cool reprints in it, which is pretty sick. I should have gone full screen for this. <laughs> Let me show you guys again. It's right here, right? Right? So like the badge set, that's the badge set, and then there's the the box. This this one. This this one. I pre-ordered two. Noise. It says it ships next year, does it actually? So I believe pre-orders end on October 14th, right chat? And then I'm assuming they're gonna be making them after that, and so they'll probably ship by like December, and so you'll probably get them by like January or something. I just found out that PewDiePie plays Digimon TCG. Cool little fact. Way to go! What's his real name? It's Philip, right? Or is it? It's Philip, right? He's Swedish. Is it Philip? It's it's Philip. It's Philip, right? Is it? I'm 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 totally butchering his real name. I know it. It's not Philip, isn't it? It's like, it's like um. Don't no one tell me. No one tell me. It's um. Felix, it is Felix. What? Uh, Philip Felix? That's like the same name phonetically, so it's okay. It's okay. We're, we were close. Felix. His name is Felix. That's so funny. I don't know why. I don't know why his name being Felix is funny to me, but it is. Like, like my actual name is in my name. Wouldn't it be funny, guys, if I was called True Champion Steven, but my name was like Ryan? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Wouldn't that be the most hilarious thing ever if my name was True Champion Steven and my name was Ryan? Wouldn't that be so funny? What if, what if I told you, unless... <laughs> unless... Oh, man. Ugh, gosh. No, I will never get used to waking up for an event. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like, I kind of miss waking up at 4 a.m. to drive like two plus hours for an event that was like at seven. Because what's weird about waking up like literally 30 minutes before an event and then just rolling out of bed and coming over here to get ready for it, like that's so weird is like, um, like I'm, I'm, I'm still becoming, like I'm, uh, like, like the adrenaline is flowing. Do you know what I mean? It's not like there yet. Like, I, I have the drive, I can jam to my tunes, I can get some kafefe, I can have some breakfast, like, it's a process. And during that process of getting there, I wake up. But here, I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa hey, we're here! But I'm like, I, I gotta feel it, you know what I mean? Like, like, it's never until after the first round that I'm actually fully awake. And even then, I, I go back to being tired. 8 a.m. League Cups, that will be, <laughs> yep, right, uh, David knows for sure. Everyone's named Ryan now. 
Would you still recommend purchasing previous set boxes after BT6 is released? I mean, if you need cards from those sets, yeah. I mean, I mean, cards from those sets are still usable. But like, if you're only after like a couple of cards, just buy the singles. A, a, a lot of the singles are going <laughs> down in price, especially like the rares and commons and stuff. Actual bulk. Speaking of which, I have all those boxes, which are now filled with Yu-Gi-Oh cards too, by the way, that I need to organize at a certain point in my life. Hi, love your videos, Za. Ah, thank you, Ruddy. I appreciate it. Am I saying that right, Ruddy? I'm thinking of like Rock Rough, but like Ruddy Rough. Is anyone tracking the BTO6 delay? Is there a BTO6 delay? I thought it was coming out, what, October 9th? Or did they postpone it? Hey, I'm cool with the delay, not gonna lie. Is there any decks in this tournament that caught you by surprise? Um, there is one deck that I wanted to play that if someone else plays it, I will be shocked. I'm not playing it today, but I wanted to. There's like a, th th there's like a deck running around that if people play it, I'll talk about it. If no one's playing it though, I'm gonna keep it to myself so that way I can have the stocks for this weekend. <laughs> I, I, I just don't have faith in it yet though. Rock Rip is my favorite Pokemon? I figured. Yo, chat, what's everyone's favorite Pokemon? If you can guess mine, you're a real one. Or, or, or you have eyes. One of those two. Where is he, anyway? Hey, there he is. You know what? I'm gonna go put him on my computer. Oh, I'll wait for you guys to make your guesses, though. So, like, say yours, and then put, like, a colon to say mine. So that way I can know which one's which. Because if people just say mine, I'm gonna assume it's yours, too. <laughs> When everybody Ooh, we have a Mewtwo in the chat. Mewtwo is Mewtwo Mewtwo doesn't get as much hype as he used to, man. Did, did, does they remember when Mewtwo X and Mewtwo Y came out? I was like, how old was I? I think I was ju I just turned 14, I think. And I was like, damn, that's pretty sick. My favorite Pokemon is Gabumon. <laughs> uh, Lucario Greninja. Oh, dude, Greninja is a house. If I had to do a top five of, of every type, I, I think I could do top fives and types really well, but doing a top five of all of them, it's gonna be Metagross, you already know. I think Scizor has to be number two, even though they're both steel types. Like, they're my two favorite Pokemon of all time. Like, no questions asked. I have the most memorable moments with all of them. Then number three, it's always hard to think about number three. I kind of want to give it, you know, the first one that came in my head is Torterra. I do love Torterra, but I feel like I'm lying to myself because I like I feel like my love for Turtwig outweighs my love for Torterra, if that makes sense. So I have to say Turtwig and not Torterra. So, tur so, so Turtwig. Oh wait, no, no, I'm lying to you. No, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is number three. And then it's Turtwig. I'm a grass starter fan, if you can't tell. And then number five has to go to, I think it's a water, who's my favorite water type? Mantine, but it's not Mantine. Mantine's dope, but it's not Mantine. Oh, Dragapult, Dragapult. Yeah, yeah, he snuck his way in there, dude. Dragapult's insane. Like, Dragapult's insane. Like if you don't love drag like if you don't love Dragapult, look again. Like, like, are you listening? He's a dragon and ghost type. And he shoots tiny dudes from his head. <laughs> are you are you listening? Are you are you listening? When he evolves, he creates more of him. <laughs> Just tinier versions that he shoots at you. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. He's a jet. He's a ghost jet that shoots tiny dudes of himself <laughs> at you. He's so cool. So cool, dude. 
Steven, I tweeted you the information I got on the delay. Ah, oh, interesting. Let's take it out. We got time. Apparently, everyone does not know how to ticket submission in Gen Con, so we got some time. Let's see. Where is this coming from? Is this coming from, like, a distributor? Like, is that on, like, GTS's website? November GTS distribution. That's where I'm looking right now. Okay. Yep. So, yep, that is facts. It does say November 5th. And then it says, what does that say? It says January for set seven. And then EX collection is in December. Hmm. Interesting. I went X1 in Giga 2 turning last night, running Shaman. Get after it, Brian. So, yeah, guys, it's looking like the starter decks and set six are getting delayed for another month. How do I feel about that? I feel happy that we're gonna get this format a bit longer. I know people are like thinking it's stale, but I think it's like still, like it's solved, but then, but there's still a lot of room to enjoy it. But the question that I'm worried about is if they're gonna delay EX collection and set seven, because if they don't, dude, I, I'm kind of okay with EX collection being a shorter format, that's fine. But then we don't know when, when the next set was scheduled to be released. So like, as long as they as long as they delay what it, whenever set eight is gonna come out for I, I shouldn't say delay as as long as they give us like two months of enjoying the set seven format, I think I'm chill. Doesn't really matter to me. It it it, it just means I get a, I get another month to save money to spend on trading cards, right? I don't mind it that much. I don't think that's actually true. I mean, like two months. Like two months, like is a long time. I think I, th I think two months of the same meta is a long time. Like sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh, like the meta isn't always defined by what sets come out. The meta is most of the time defined by the ban list. And having the same ban list for like three to four months, like I, like after just playing like two weeks of this format, I kind of figured out like what the big meta decks were doing, and I'm like, huh. That must have been like really interesting to like know already because the format was the same as it was four months ago, right? Like, so like, I, I think it's good to always revamp like reasonably within two to three months. Two to three months, I think is like the sweet spot for a meta to exist. We are generating pairings now. Thank you very much for your patience with all the drops and no shows, not a problem. We're, ch we're chilling. I'm hanging out with 308 of my best friends. We're we're living libido loca. Uh, by the way, y'all, if you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button on this stream because believe it or not, liking live streams is actually insane on YouTube. Um, and number dos, don't forget that this will be a dual part live stream, both here on YouTube and over on Twitch. Uh, the first half of the tournament will be streamed here and the second half over on Twitch. Hopefully we don't scrub out before we head over to Twitch because that would be very disappointing. <laughs> but if I do go X3, I am dropping. So just a heads up. <laughs> Link is down below or type in the chat, exclamation point Twitch. Be sure to follow. And reminder, it is September, so you never know what's going to happen. Streams can get crazy. True elites coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> yeah, I can go. I can grab it for you guys. Hold on. Well, I can just show it to you. Let me just go to GTS. So GTS, guys, if you don't know, is one of the best distributors. Uh, 
they pretty much distribute all over the West Coast uh, for like everything. But if you ever want like news on products, you can go here to go to all upcoming pre-orders. You can go to card games. And Digimon is on one of the last pages. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how they internally organize this, but it's whatever. And so here it is. So you guys will see it. Let's make it over like this. Cool. All right. So the O-Force starter deck. November. Right? Release date November. Order date. So you had to order these back in May. And they're coming out in November. Classic collection release date. Release date November, release date November. This used to say like October something. It said like what, October 9th, right chat? Is what it used to say? Well now it says November. So there's the heads up there. But they, but, but these things should all still come on the same day. So there you go. That's all the information. And then this is for the, uh, the, the 3rd of December and this is for the 1st of January. Which honestly, e e EX collection doesn't, doesn't need to be a super long format it's a really small set so no big deal hopefully it's early november and not like the middle of november like we had for set 1.5 like it was basically march when we had 1.0 and then it was basically april by the time we had 1.5 No, because the drops still registered and they don't have any tickets available, right? So like the tickets still sold out. It's not it's not like the drops like get refunded. They get all their stuff back. Like they get the participation. They're still legally like they like like they were sold a ticket, they just didn't show up. Too bad Duel Masters never took off. Yeah. Oh baby, here we go. Pet rings are live. Oh man, we're using this one. Joy. Uh, let's see. Click the underlined round. I'll click timer as well, just so we got it. What does it say? Oh, I don't know what that is. That's fine though. There it is. This so round has not started yet. Let's go ahead and find our round. Boom. I'm at table 131, baby. Starting from the bottom. Now we're here. All right, boys and girls, lads and ladies, gentlemen and gentle ladies. Uh, type in the chat one if you think we're gonna win and type two if you think we're gonna lose. Also a reminder, smash that like button for the first round of the first ever online DC1 Grand Prix hosted by Gen Con Online. Also leave your guesses to what you think I'm playing. Howdy, howdy. Hey, what's going on? Nothing much, man. Hey, you cool if I stream this, by the way? Yeah, go for it. Ah, thank you. Why is my camera never on? <laughs> Yeah, how are you feeling today? So far, so good. Kind of tired, you know. I always waking up in the morning and stuff, but looking forward to it. I know. I I'm running like four hours of sleep. So I'm kind of like dying. <laughs> yeah, but hey, but hey, I always find that I like, I like try harder when I know I have low sleep. Like you gotta focus because if you don't focus, you're gonna miss stuff. No, you're absolutely right, man. I'm fucking like losing my mind here and i'm just like i gotta stay awake i gotta <clears throat> i bet it's you it's like good. an adrenaline thing like your body knows like you need to do something right now so it just like fuels you with some extra ones and it's just like driving you getting you going but it, you know what sucks yeah it frustrates you too like when you're just like you're like god damn it i can't focus because i have no sleep mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. I'm not gonna by that, but it is what it is. The trick is just, is like the trick is just to like not actively think about it and just do what you gotta do. That's all it is. Absolutely. Cutter tap. All right. Uh, how do you want me to cut? 
Uh, you can do half and five, and then cut or tap for me. Uh, yeah, you can just do like the same. Cool. Uh, so half, and then five to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. And then is two dice high roll good for you to pick who goes first? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do you want to do one dice or two dice? Uh, two is fine. Alright. Oh, hey, one quick thing. You see where my hand is at right here? Yeah. There's like a little bit of a glare here, so if I put like cards here, just remind me to move them. No problem. I'll I'll ask if I don't know what they are. Alright, cool. I got a five, by the way. Okay. I got a five. I got a four. I got a four. We are evenly matched. I've oh, got a, a seven. I got nine. Alrighty. So you'll be going first, and I yes, don't think sir. the timer started yet. Did they say what time we start? I have no idea. We're like in 131. Let me see if they put anything up. Nope, nothing yet. <sighs> Let me like set up one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you see this dice here? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, two, two, two. Give me one second. I just want to set up. Uh, I like to set up my own timer. Not a problem. So that way, if I finish early, I'll be like, oh, I know how much time is left, you know? Exactly. Me to like bullshit. Let's get to know I get to play a celebrity today. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself a celebrity. Schmuck with a camera is, I think, more accurate. Well, I mean, I like your videos. So, yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I also don't think you're a bad player, so that's good. Hey, I'll do, I do what I can not to be. No, no, I respect that. I guess we're just waiting. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about a time. I guess they, I, I guess they, they, they just want to give everyone time to... No, it's totally cool. I understand. And it has no qualms with me because it's like, there's like, I was just playing like a casual match with a friend of mine and it was literally, what was it? It was like, was like 200 or 300 tables or something crazy. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm sure people are scrolling down if things are freezing, all that stuff. Exactly. Oh, timer's going, so I think we can start. Best of luck to you, boss. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, give me, let me start my timer. Just one okay. All right, that doesn't matter. Okay. Ready to go? Yep. Best of luck. All right. Drop turn. Do Pikmon. Ushiagumon. Unimon puts you to two. I'm at two. Oh. Draw for turn. Yes, sir. I'll go ahead and hatch Kapurimon. Sure. I'll go ahead and evolve into Toyagumon to draw. That's the one that if I don't attack, you draw one, right? Exactly. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and play Toyagumon and give you one. Go ahead. Okay. Draw turn. I'm going to do... I'll put you two. I meant to. Draw. I'll stay in. Sure. I'll evolve into Tankmon to go to one draw. Sure. I'll play a Guramon to give you one. Go ahead. Sure. Draw turn. <laughs> I'm just gonna play a Lord Nightmon to put you to two. Effect of my Toagumon, I'll draw a card and then I'll draw for turn. Yes, sir. Go for it. I'll go ahead and stay in. Sure. Let's evolve into Tankmon to go to one, draw. Sure. And then I'll evolve into Gogmamon to give you two, draw. Sure. Draw for turn. I'm going to raise. Sure. Okay, let's do this. 
Lord Nightmon is going to attempt to swing at security. I'm going to drop a Nightmon. Sure. Deduct 4,000 from uh, Tantramon. Sure, he's at two. And then I'll take it. Okay. Six. Okay. And then I will put you to one by playing Starmon and killing your Tantramon. Sure. Draw. Yeah, okay. Um Okay. I'll just promote Gogma? Sure. He's the one that if you digi burst you gain a thousand, right? Gain two thousand till the end of your next turn. I'll go ahead and digi burst three times to give him plus six okay. till the end of your next turn. Gotcha. So what does that make him now? He's 13. Uh, okay. He's 13. Let's go ahead and swing at you for 13. Swing it to my security? Yeah. Okay. And it's a Lord Bank, Mom. Cool. You're good. And then I'll go ahead and evolve into War Greymon to give you two draw, reboot, restand. Okay. Draw turn. Hatch. How do I want to do this? Pulsemon? Sure. Okay, Lord Nightmon's going to swing at your security. I'm going to activate. I'm going to activate Pikmon and Lord Nightmon. I'm just figuring out how I'm going to do this. I guess it doesn't matter too much right now. Um, I'm just going to play Nightmon. Mm -hmm. And it's going to kill your Hagurumon, the level sure. 3. And then okay. target for Pikmon. Pikmon will... Yeah, it's just target the War Greymon. Sure, I'll block this uh, attack. Uh, sure. So, what am I? You're 15? Uh, you're 15. No, sorry, you're 14. I'm currently... He lost minus 1, so 10 plus 1 is 11, plus 6 is 17. Okay, so I'm dead. Totally forgot about that effect. Uh, okay. Let's do Oh sorry no, he was eighteen. I lied. He was eighteen? No, no, that's wait, wait, fine. wait, wait, wait. So he gains eight total, nineteen, minus one's eighteen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. I totally forgot about that effect. That was just disappointing. No worries. Should have been more for that. Um I'm going to do Terurimon, and then I'm going to do I don't know what your deck does. Uh, put you to two. Draw. Draw. Hatch. Let's evolve into Toyagumon to draw. Sure.
Paramount for security. Yeah, sure. I'll play Izzy Azumi. You'll go to two. Effect revealing the top one, two, and three cards. They're not all black, so you'll go to two. And then... I'll leave it as is. So X Antibody, Commandra, Tank. Oh, man. Uh, my go. Drop turn. Sure. So you're 11 now, right? He's 12. He's 12? Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, War Grandmon is going to attempt to swing at security. I'm going to activate his effect to add this card back. Sure, sure. And restand, deduct 6,000. Sure, I'll take it. Seven. Okay. To remind Wool, uh, he's six, right? Yes. Okay, so Rimon's gonna swing. I'm going to deduct one with Pikmon, swing to security. Sure. Two. Okay. You have two security left, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do Starmon. You're at one. Put you to one. Eight. I'm at three with Dizzy. Draw. Yep. Come and War Greymon's gone. Uh, he was at one, two, three, he four, 12, five. So my six. six, one, yeah, five. Yeah. You're good. So. Let's evolve into Dark Tyrannomon to go to two, draw. Sure. Let's evolve into Warumanzamon to go to zero, draw. I'll go ahead and swing seven at your Turi. Sure. And then for turn, I'll evolve into Metal Garurumon to give you three, draw effect to Digiburst two, and I will kill one of your Starmons. Okay. Over to you. Go to three, right? Yep. Okay, draw for turn. <sighs> okay. You have two security, am I right? Yep. Let me just make sure. Patch. Salomon. Draw. Okay. Alright. I'm going to swing to your security and I'm going to add this back. Restand. Uh, 13, he's dead. Okay. Swing with Nightmon. Uh, it's worth defeat. Play it. And swing with Starmon. Sure, I'll go first for game two. Sure. So do you usually just play like different decks for every regional? No, I just play whatever I feel like. No Perfect real, time. no real science behind it. Did you already get your invite to nationals? No. I assume. Oh, never mind. I assumed you did. <laughs> no worries. Cut or tap. Uh, yeah, the same thing. What is it? Cut half and then. Uh, so five. you can you can cut half and six, but what about for me? Half and what? Right. Yeah, no, it'll be the same. Why do I keep dropping a card? Oh my god. Sorry, I'm gonna half and then six, right? Yeah, for you, yeah. I got you. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, whenever you're ready, best of luck, boss. Go ahead and hatch Caprimon. Go for it. I'll go ahead and evolve into Toyagumon to draw. Sure. And then I'll evolve into Seals Dramon to give you two and draw. Okay, draw turn. I'm gonna do... Bushiagumon. Sure. I'm gonna do Unimon. Sure, go to zero. Zero. And then I'm gonna play TK to put you to four. I'm at four. And I'm gonna look at my security. And I'm going to add a slash Angermon. Sure, I'll draw. Oh, sorry, I didn't ask. Is there any way you want me to cut this? Or Doesn't matter to me. That? Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and evolve into Waramanzimon to go to two, draw. Sure. Then I will go ahead, evolve into High Andromon to go to zero, draw. And then sure. I'll activate Izzy Izumi, revealing one, two, and three. They're all black, so you go to three, and then I'll organize them. Let's go Dark Tyranno, High Andro, Tank. Okay. You're at draw three, turn. go ahead. All right. I'm going to do... Pulsemon, go to zero. to zero, draw, and then Nightmon will put you to three. Draw. Draw. Let's go and promote Hyandro. Yep. Swing at you for 12. Sure. Uh, there you go. You're good. I'll was, play uh, Torogamon to go to zero. Sorry, is, uh, is this person a judge or something? Yes. yes. I'll go to one draw and then you're at three. Reboot. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm at three, right? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Drop turn. Uh, I'm going to raise. I'm going to do Lord Nightmon. Draw. Lord Nightmon is going to swing at your security. I'm going to drop. Uh, high Andromon is how strong? 12. Cool. He's 12. Okay. I'm going to drop Nightmon to deduct 4,000 mm -hmm. from him, and Pickmon's going to deduct 1,000 from the other guy. Sure. 11. You're good. Okay. And then I'm going to put you to three and slash Andromon your High Andromon. Draw. Hatch. It's evolving into Agumon to draw. I'll go ahead and activate Ultimate Flare to give you five. Let's the Evolve three your Lord Naimon, then your Pulsemon will die. Okay. Over to you. And that puts you at five, right? Yep. Okay. Resand draw. Okay. Hatch. I'm going to do Bushiagamon, draw. I'm going to do Teruimon, go to four. And then, now nah, let's not play like this. Uh, Chaos Mon to kill your Tantramon, and you're gonna go to three. Draw. I'll go ahead and stay in. Sure. It's evolving to tank mine to go to two, draw. Sure. It's evolving to Mega Dramon, I'll give you three and draw. Okay. Drop turn. Uh Chaos Bond will swing at your security. Sure. Seven. Sure. Bushiagamon will swing at your security. Six, he's dead. Okay. I'm going to play a Pulsemon. Go to zero, draw. 
and then I'm gonna do a war ground mod to put you to three, and it's your go. Draw. You have two security left, right? Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and promote. I'll go ahead and evolve into Metal Garumon to go to zero, draw. I'll go ahead and Digi Burst two. Let's kill the Pulsemon. I'll swing at you for 12. Okay. And you're good, Angelma. And then I'll play Commandermon, give you three, reboot. Commandermon, okay. Draw turn. You have how much security? Two. Okay. Uh, no blockers, right? He's a blocker. Oh, he is a blocker? Okay. This is annoying. Okay, how strong is he? 11. Wait, what makes him a blocker? Inheritable. It's sealed Jermon, right? Inheritable. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to Digiburst. Okay. And burn him for four. Okay. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to do uh, Starmon. Sure. Deduct three from him. Sure. Zero. So what is that? He's now, he was 11, now he's six, right? He's four. He's four? Okay. Um. Okay. Chaos Mon's gonna swing at security. 15, you're dead, you gain three. Three, okay. He is at four, right? Yep. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. how should I do this? It's very annoying right now. I'm gonna do Starmon again. Pick sure. up the three from him. Sure. War Groudmon's gonna swing, Pikmon's gonna activate, killing Metal Gurumon. Sure. One. Yeah, okay. And then I will just play a Unimon to put you to two, then you go to three. Draw. Yeah. Let's evolve into Dark Tyranno to go to two, draw. Sure. Oh, sorry, I'm at three security. I'll go ahead and activate Ultimate Flare to give you six. I'll target your War Growlmon. The Starmon and the War Growlmon will die. Over to you. Okay, and I go to five, right? You're at six. I'm at six. Cool. Um, drop turn. Uh, Ushiagumon, swing for game. Uh, block. Yep. Uh, Unimon, swing for game. Cool. GG's boss. Thanks, man. One defeat. I Whole game's different. Oh well. Hogs, man. I definitely will be watching your videos. Don't you know? <laughs> I appreciate it. I Thank you. Have, uh, I actually did not think I was going to win that. <laughs> well, uh, when when you got the... Like, if you didn't... If your Valderarm didn't die, I would have just... I probably wouldn't have blocked the War Realm on, but I would have just swung into it next turn and then played another blocker down. But I, I just never saw, saw Defeat that game. If I just see Defeat, that whole no. game is different. It's all right, though. Jeez. That's what I was waiting for. I was like, shit, if Defeat comes out, it's over for me. Yeah. And then the what? first game, if you didn't play War Greymon, you play War Greymon, you play Slash, and you drew them all the times you needed them. That's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, no, I got lucky with that one. I got absolutely <laughs> But you added the Slash because... one that time. The Slash was whatever. But the War Greymon was tough because I'm like, well, I think it attacked me twice. If you couldn't attack twice with any of those dudes, it was a different game for sure. But regardless, GG's, man. Peace. Oh, well. Lost to people that drew outs so against my not drawing outs. So the Slash version is the worst one to fight against. The Mastermon one is the easiest one to fight against. It happens, though. It's just, I just didn't draw, like, my defensive cards. Like, game one, I never saw Ultimate Flare. And then game two, I never drew Defeat. I know, sorry, I, I never saw offensive cards. Literally, guys, that whole first game was, that whole second game was going super pretty for me. If I just drew Defeat, 
on the turn that I promoted my high Andromon. I kill his tamer. I choke him, I think, at one if I do it that turn because I play the two drop from my hand. I'm oh, no, sorry, at two. I have the rested boy. I think he had reboot. Also, I, also my eggs. Guys, did you see this? My eggs were awkward. I had this one instead of this one for my high Andro. And then I had this one instead of the other one for my uh, blocker. I was like, come on, man. What are you doing? Oh, well. Oh, well. One day we'll defeat. And then what are the... And, and come on, man. Defeating the last security. If he's in the security, put him up front. <laughs> oh, well. The matchup can definitely be tricky, though, if they get, like, the proper removal. Like, he was able to reduce, like, so much. He drew, like, every DP reduction card in his deck, bro. But how cool was the play of, like... Of like block, <laughs> but because he had the war Greymon, normally their aggression is like kaput after that, right? But because he had the war Greymon for the follow up, he was able to get tons of aggression whilst minimalizing my blocker. That would like he didn't need to draw like Nightmon again, like he just had to attack, which was the interesting part. I think I think a thing I could have done. Oh, and in the first game I didn't see ultimates. I had to do like a weird like workaround to where I just like, I, like basically I had a handful of rookies, champions, and defeats. <laughs> so I had to like play my rookies in a way that let me draw off of them. So I had to like evolve here instead of evolving here. And then I had to hard play versus evolving here because if I evolve, I'd pass over three versus just pass over, uh, passing over one. You know what I mean? So like I had to do some really unideal plays where if I just drew the ultimate. I could just evolve up into a mega on turn three, choke him, force him to have his Lord Naimon, then I just end my turn with it, with a defeat, and then I say deal with this, right? So, like in an ideal world where like you see your pieces, right? Like the like the chains to which you evolve is way different. And TK is a house, man. Like 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 normally early TK no bueno because I'm just able to go all the way up to a mega and then cap it off with defeat. But because I didn't have defeat, I couldn't I couldn't school him for going for that early TK. It would have been it would have been fired to like get rid of the TK, choke him at two, and just leave him on an ultimate that couldn't do anything. That would have been so good. But didn't draw it that way. Didn't have the options. Needed the dig. Didn't go for the dig. I could have maybe promoted a turn earlier to like get the extra cycle, but as we saw, it wouldn't have mattered. So it's whatever. By the way, I decided to play uh black today because I didn't want to play uh Star Lord again. Um, I do like this deck a lot though. I probably should have played this one like this is probably the better deck I have for like just like consistently just taking down the event, but it's all right though I'll play it tomorrow for the Evo Cup if I have to or I'll play my super jank deck that I think is super fire and no one's ready for it. <laughs> Or I'll play that deck. We'll we'll see. We'll see how I feel Also, you guys are probably wondering like why I'm not playing like just you know three copies of metal garuramon for those that don't know i don't own uh more than one copy of this card for some reason so i'm playing these three <laughs> cards it, it, it's basically a scuffed version of the deck in an ideal world it'd just be three copies of this but hey i showed how cool the war graymon is <laughs> just guaranteed blocker plus uh reboot right there is pretty sick isn't it and then the blast one's actually pretty sick for the 13k body just to swing over stuff or to um um smash for a bunch of damage so you know it's like a more of a black toolbox at this point and the best card in the deck is high andromon anyway so like don't worry about this too much like these cards don't really matter this is just like the nice version to, to run because it's removal and it's also a good card against security control so it should be this it should be three copies of this but i only own one uh mecha nori uh is not good because you want to be able to evolve for as cheap as possible to build up so we're going with uh seals Dramon instead for our, our second blocker Plus, Me Mechanary Wan wouldn't have done anything against his deck. He was playing uh, War Greymon. What's the Evo Cup? It's, an it's, 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 it's another big tournament happening tomorrow for Top Cut. But guys, we all know we all know how it goes, chat. We all know the song and dance for the channel. What is the song and dance for the channel, chat? Lose round one to. I wouldn't say a favorable. I don't think Yellow Lord I'm on is at any point a favorable matchup because one of our best cards, Ultimate Flare, does really nothing against their deck. Um, 
but uh, but our main strategy if we achieve it properly can just smoke them in certain situations i was i debated going for defeat in the first game but i knew that he could kill me if i didn't get like ultimate flare and security so i had to keep the blocker and so i was worried about not having blocker on defeat that was the bad part for me Oh no, he was fine. He was just a little like all over the place. Like he was clearly winning and he was going, oh, ugh. I'm like, I get that you don't know what my deck does, but you should be able to tell this is a pretty good situation for you. And he was a nice enough guy. We had a fun time. It was fine. I wouldn't worry about it, guys. Like it didn't rub me the wrong way, I should say. I didn't notice it though. And if I, and, and, and if I wasn't me, you know. But I will say this. Um. Uh... I, I just think he was nervous. I just think he was nervous. He realized he was on stream. He knew who I was. People can get nervous. People act weird, man. People act weird. It's fine. I, I, I appreciate it. All, all I can do is sit there and go, sure, you're fine. You're good. Don't worry about it. Like, it, it, like, it, it, like no one's ever, like, stuff like that doesn't bother me in the game. Afterwards, I can look back and be like, yeah, maybe it was a little weird, but who cares? It, it, does, it didn't matter in the moment. <laughs> streamer terrain advantage yo i have my duelist kingdom rules coming in <laughs> if we play on my stream i get minus five luck points or whatever it is <laughs> whatever it is but guys i'm just waiting i should i should keep a counter for how often um zort defeats checked in security but then i should keep a second counter for how many times it actually matters You got the set of event pack Commandramon. Is that the one? Yeah, so yeah, um, I opened this in my in one of my event packs and I was like, well, instead of playing a fourth Hagurumon, I'll play a one of copy of Commandra because it looks gorgeous. Also, look what else came in the mail, chat. My three crotch gumons. Online finalist, participant, participant, and then if you count my other finalists that I have, bam! We have a play set of all these dudes, which I'm very happy about. I run 20 blockers in my D Brigade deck. Fire. Yeah, dude, the fact that Commandramon's a blocker is hilarious. Crotch Gumon! Crotch Gumon! <laughs> Which Agumon is it? It's the plus 1000 DP Agumon, right? Dude, how many printings of that card do we have at this point? Is it like four? Chat, do we know what the most reprinted card is? I don't mean like reprinted like art or Digimon. I mean like reprinted exact same card. Like it's the exact same card. It's just in a bunch of different artworks. I think it's Omnimon, but I could be wrong. Like set one Omni, I think it's him, but it could be it could be Agumon at this point. Negate effects, dude, dude. The second we get negate effects, I mean, we already have negate attacks, right? Like we have we have we have literal Utopia, dude. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh now, I, like this is literally Utopia, <laughs> just a destruction when you swing with it. Like that's so funny to me. Like he's literally Utopia. Detach two. Stop an attack. <laughs> so funny, man. Dude, imagine a world where because we have the new Jogress evolution that we get like a Jogress Omnimon that can evolve from War Greymon and, and Gururumon, and then we just slam this guy on top of it. Imagine how many sources you're gonna have. Imagine how many sources you're gonna have, chat. Oh my god. You ain't losing to no rookie rush deck. You got my I got my crotch Akumans for Bond of Bravery yet. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. Adding negates negates would be a mistake in Digimon. It depends on like what the function is. Like if it's for example, like I've talked about this before. Like if we add interrupts, that actually costed stuff. So let's say for example, um, this I have a card, a Digimon card. It has an effect 
that can negate one of your Digimon's effects. Let, let's say it can negate an, an undigival effect, right? But in order to negate the undigival effect, I have to pay two memory. So if I pay two memory, I can negate your effect. I don't have to though. So like it, it like 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 you'll evolve. You go to zero. I'll activate my effect. I'll give you two if I don't want that effect to happen. And you go back to two. You can do something else afterwards, right? So I feel like if we had interrupts in that form, it would be much more balanced. I'm not even sure if, if at that point the interrupts are good unless they stop like some pretty obscene effects. That's what I would say they would have to do to like give us negates or interrupts and stuff like that that we can like proactively use. If it's just like play an option card and then it has a delay effect to just negate something. I think that's also cool too because it requires setup, but um, basically trap card, you know? But I think giving something back to your opponent in exchange for stopping one of their effects is like totally worth it. I think Digiburst negates would be fine. So like during your opponent's turn, you can Digiburst to negate something. That could be cool. And I do agree it should be like a color specific thing. I don't think every color off the bat should get like negates. That seems kind of dumb. I think if one color had like some negates for certain types of effects that could be pretty cool i'm not sure how good that would be though because like it's one thing to negate effects it's another thing to have effects that you can use to win the game right so like it has to be a cool combination also why would you why would i negate an undigivolve effect when i can just remove the card that's going to digivolve into right Paying security could be cool. But like having it be like a card, that means you can like lose your security to do stuff. We've seen that interaction for like gaining memory or evolving. I am. I'm playing Turbo Black Defeat today. Decided to have a little bit of fun while trying to be as competitive as possible. But I can't draw defeats to save my life, apparently. Did you pay the VIP? No, no, I'm 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 a regular Joe in today's event. Nothing crazy for me today. Do we know how many rounds it's gonna be? I know some people dropped, but my guess is it's still like gonna be eight or nine. Have you seen the new Mastamon spoilers? Yes, I have, Bobo. They're broken. The new Jogress stuff is gonna be interesting, to say the least. What I put as the main level sixes in a black blocker deck? Um, high Andromon and with like Mega Dramon to make it like a 12,000 DP blocker. And then uh, I just had it. Uh, the black War Greymon, the War Greymon that is black. Uh, this guy, War Greymon that is black. No, why would it be the Imperial? Imperial is not a Jogress Digimon. He is an evolution of a Jogress Digimon. Why would it? Why would he be it? That'd be so stupid. Plus, what would you combine? Any blue and any green? That's not. Oh boy, oh boy. That sounds pan dangerous.
Nice, okay. We better get a dual color Sylphimon and Valkyriemon. <laughs> we better get Shockomon. What, does Shockomon evolve in anything, Chad? I don't think he does. Confirmed he doesn't, right? What can green and do blue together? They're a very aggro combination. Like green has some really nice beat sticks and blue has the advantage to just let you beat your opponent down really effectively. Um, E.g. blue green rookie rush in the old days. That's when the new Old Force feature Mon starter deck coming up. Both the new starters are so good. Best ones we've had yet. They introduced some really cool effects, some really cool cards. And we of course get the delay promos, which are chef's kiss. Shockomon Digivolves into Slash Angemon? You're f***ing with me. You're f***ing with me. There's no way! My favorite boy evolves from a giant metal angel? What? That's insane. Dude, that's so cool, actually. I did not know that. If that's true, that's dope, man. Officially, it's Vikamon. Ah, okay, we're good. Vikamon sucks, we all know. Okay, good. Whew! I was gonna say, my boy Slash is too good for that. <sighs> Nine minutes left, chat. Um, until regular time is over, I'm gonna really quick go get some water. Um, in the meantime, be sure to smash that luck button so we can get some luck points in our next future matches. We need to either draw sword defeat or check him in security. Those are the two things that have to happen today if we want to see success. Until then, though, I will be right back. There's no ads here on YouTube, so just enjoy the music. Magic. <laughs> I have returned. What do you think of Lord Nightmon versus Shaman matchups? Really interesting, actually. Like, you can, um... Like, if you get your Zeke Shaman combo online, they don't have access to specifically Unimon. You can you can destroy their board in a single turn. So it's really hard for, like, the Lord Nightmon player definitely needs to, like, prepare themselves for what you're going to do. They, 
they can't just like blindly swing and expect to do well. How many defeat are you playing? Four. Shademon better than Seal. Seal's Jermon can attack, which is pretty big. And it has 6,000 DP, which is also really good for protecting your dudes without reboot from being attacked into. I feel like those are all very good reasons to play it over Shademon. Now, having more free dudes that can play themselves out of security, that's always cool. But I like... I like playing cards for reasons that I can proactively use if they do also happen to have really nice extra effects that can come out in like a variance basis. That's just a bonus. But I feel like Seals Jermon proactively is always better than Shademon. But in the moments where like you check them, you're like, oh, oh yeah, this card's broken. <laughs> but you gotta go based off of like win rate and based off of percentages and based off of math and make those decisions there. Otherwise, you're not really gonna see much success in the long term, I don't think. Still no Diabormon list? What do you mean? I have a deck list for Diabormon. It's on my all my decks video. I have a Diabormon deck right there. Are there any inherited skills that are outright broken for your deck that you want? That, that I want or that are already here? Is, wait, what's the question? I'm a little confused. Are you still playing Alteress and Zwart also? I never played Zwart or Alteress in this deck ever. I've never done that. Oh, no, no, you're asking if they're in the deck too. No, 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 they're not. I'm playing X Antibody as the last, like, two big Digimon. I want, I want my big boy Examon. Yes, sir! Examon is my favorite. It's usually back and forth between him and Dynasmon. Favorite Royal Knight. I want him so bad. I want to, I was waiting for Ben. How's it going? Eh, we lost round one, regrettably, to the 50-50 matchup where we couldn't draw anything and they did. Oh, well, happens. Yellow Lord Nightmon Slash is the hardest version for this deck to beat. Because they do have the DP reduction they need to kill our stuff. I, I was probably a little too aggressive with the battle area promote, but I thought I could go for the War Greymon play and I wanted to see if I could trick him and then I was able to do it. But then he had a War Greymon out of randomness nowhere that gave him the extra attacks he needed to close up the game before I could set up anything. Like if he didn't, it, it, like literally if he evolved into a second Lord Nightmon, I was chilling. Like I was fine. Like, I just go swing, evolve into defeat, pass. Have you seen Iwabamon effect? It's cracked. Yes, my big bad turtle is cracked. He's my favorite sovereign, and he's going to be a killer deck that I cannot wait to use. Exmo will be level 7. He better be. It makes sense that he would be. Although, because he is a DNA Digivolve of two ultimates, I could see him being level 6. Especially now that we have Joe Grass as like an official archetype or uh, ability. I could totally see it being like Wing Jermon plus Break Jermon equals this guy, right? Or like a blue and a red equals Exa. I could totally see that. So, I don't know. We'll see what they do. I want a deck centered around the Devas. I think we already have Vajra... And and Tyla, are we missing any others? I mean, I know we're missing others, but which ones are we missing? We're missing the bird, we're missing the snake, we're missing the horse, we're missing the we're missing the the sheep, we're missing the monkey, we're missing the thinking back to Jackie Chan Adventures, we're missing the tigers, we're missing <laughs> um, we're missing the pig. I think there's a pig. Yeah, 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 the boar. Yeah, yeah, the pig. Uh, the big boy. And then there's... There's one more, I think. The rat. Thank you. I already said snake. What about armor digi eggs? Those are already confirmed to come out in set 8. So we are getting some armor digi evolution cards. We have no idea what they're going to look like or what they're going to do, but they're going to exist. That dang horse. Dude, watch them make the horse a purple Digimon card. And then, like, it has something to do with Impmon. Watch them do that just for the lols. Hey, 
How did the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament go? As expected, I went 1-1-1. One, one, one. Only win was a buy because I suck and don't know how to play against Skull Servants or Unchained, but can you blame me? Who actually knows how to play against those decks? Raise your hand. Four was the worst in Tamers? Dude, he was so big. Oh, he had that like funny voice that like really big animated creatures have, which is like, oh. <laughs> he sounds like he's always being punched in the stomach and I'm like, I'm not afraid of that noise, friend. But then like he'll, he'll like do this like big black blast that just like destroys everything. I'm like, oh yeah, that's scary. Okay, okay. I've said it before and I'll say it again, y'all. I love, love that they have literally the entirety of the Digimon franchise um, to choose from when it comes to uh, making cards. Like they like they have the, the, the ends of the earth, man. <laughs> ends of the earth for that. I cannot wait to see what else they come up with or what they draw from. Oh, we're going to get Tamers from Tamers, no question. I want there to be a sentence that says, the Tamers from Tamers are now Tamers. I want to be able to say that and have it be real and not a lie. But they're, they're on their way. What does that say? You more... You, you more gray wife, I need Zhao. You more gray wife, I need Zhao. <laughs> Uncle! <laughs> One more thing! Oh, man. Jackie Chan Adventures was a dope show. Loki, I watched, like, the first season, like, two weeks ago. Because I was in a... I was in a... I was in, like, nostalgia mode. I also watched the Jackie Chan movie, and I was like, dude, Jackie Chan's freaking awesome. Um, then I and how I discovered Jackie Chan was through the cartoon show, which I was like, that's so funny to me. Like this movie star, ultra talented human being that will outlive us all. <laughs> I found him through a cool cartoon show where a fake version of him would run around the world trying to find rocks <laughs> with pictures of animals on him. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually know that. It literally means like demon spirits and stuff go away. Like literally. Any thoughts on the new Kudamon promo? What's the, oh, oh, the new Kudamon to like recycle your Kentorismans? <laughs> As a certified Kentorismans stan. I appreciate it. As a certified competitive player that tries to think about this game at the cutting edge of all things useful, eh, it's whatever. Now the Chrysalimon promo. Cool lordy. That first round was exhausting, just finished. How'd you do, Alec? I got schooled by Lord Nightmon. <laughs> Cause I can't draw defeats to save my life. Or use them at opportune times, I should say. I could have been more aggressive with defeat in that first game. I was just so worried about Lord Nightmon just walking all over me. Cause I was so slow to set up. Loss of the Lord Nightmon mirror match? Oh yeah, that one can be a grind. We've all been there. Like the biggest reason why I don't want to play normal Lord Nightmon decks anymore is because I hate the mirror match. Like I know it, I know what I have to do, 
but it's so aggravating to play. Like, I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't get me wrong. But man, do I want to openly sign up for like potentially four plus rounds of that? No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I don't like having like pure 50 50s and like super intense like micro decisions <laughs> influence whether or not I can go undefeated in a tournament that I have to go undefeated in. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather just play a cool deck that makes my opponent misplay like attacking into my war Greymons and as long as I see my cards I can make plays and win the game. But that second part's always hard to do sometimes. <laughs> oh dude. He even used the Lord Nightmon. He even had the second Nightmon chat. He even had the bust in hand to, to counter it. He could have just literally gone minus five and then I wouldn't have done it because then we both die. And that's not good. Are you ready for an extra month of BT5? I actually am. So like as, many, as, much as, as much as people like hate this format, they hate Lord Nightmon. They don't hate this format. This format's super cool. And I think there's tons of way to innovate. Like honestly, I'm going to say it right now. Like I think the best call for today's event was to play pure Gallantmon. Like, I think pure purple Gallantmon with, like, Magidramon, like, that old-school version of the deck that I played in, like, BT, uh, at, like, the beginning, that version of the deck with, like, some updated cards that we all know we play. Dude, it's a house. That deck's a house right now. It's so good. Like, it's so good against, like, every, against every Lord Naimon deck. And you have something to do against Rookie Rush because Gallantmon is so good. Now it's still terrible, but it's it's re reasonable. Love that Tactimon. If you can set it up fast enough. Like the cool thing about like, so so the bad thing about Tactimon is you have to set him up and then attack with him. The cool thing about um, Gallantmon is you can just evolve and get instant value out of him. Like like the turn you play Gallantmon is the turn he's useful. The turn you play Tactimon isn't always the turn he's useful because if you wait too long, your opponent could like start attacking you. And if they do that, then you're going to die. Or if you promote too early, they can just spiral you and you cry yourself to sleep, right? Like with with Gallant, I can just go promote Black War Growl, activate the effect, play a Giumon, evolve, maybe still even have a turn after that or choke my opponent while playing Gazimon, killing one of their dudes and saying your turn, best of luck. Deal with this, right? That's what I like about the Gallant one of the deck and relying on him now obviously he's only one form of removal he's not multiple but it's better than zero it's better than taking five attacks to the dome you know what i mean that's why you're the true champion <laughs> now don't get me wrong i love tacti i think tacti is super good if you have mat in play and you already have a level five and then you can attack with it the same turn the problem is you don't have enough time to set up all that against Rookie Rush, man. They can just start swinging at you. And if you, and if, again, if you promote early, they're just going to spiral you and you're going to cry. And it's not going to be fun. <laughs> you need instant value. You need cards that when they come into play, they do something for you to slow that deck down and speed you up. That's what you got to do. You need early blockers to make them not want to attack. And then you got to go promote my ultimate, play my dude kill one of their dudes, bring back a Gazimon, and then go, have fun. Let's play Digimon now. <laughs> Hard play Tacti on your first turn. How much is Tactimon? He's like, what, 11, 12 cost? I have one over here, hold on. It's 12 cost. So you have to go second, and you have to have them give you two memory, which sometimes they don't do if they draw Blinding Ray turn one. Like, I think that play only works once. I'm gonna be real honest. I think that play only works once and you need to win two games. <laughs> are the new starters delayed as well? According to the website, GTS Distribution, all three of those products are delayed till November. We have no idea what day though, but yes, all three are delayed. Alrighty, so they just called time and overtime as well. So the next round will hopefully be going up soon. I don't think I had to report, right? Let me just make sure that we're reported so that way we don't need to mess up or anything. 
Oh, wait, no, that's right. We don't report, but they report up here. Because it has to be one at a time, baby. I was so ready to buy the starters. No. Hey, now you have more time to get your pre-orders in from your shops. You know what I mean? So set six and the starter decks got delayed. I don't really think it matters why we have the delay at the end of the day. I'm actually not that upset about it. I actually don't mind it. Like obviously having set five for like another month might be a little boring to some people. I don't mind it. Exactly. We have plenty of things to spend our money on with the new Tamer box evolution thingies. Did they say, ah, we expect eight to nine rounds of Swiss or until there is one undefeated player, excluding draws. Noise. My guess is closer to eight. Okay. Sorry, guys. I went through a Twitter hole right there. My bad. Any opinions on the classics at the Abormon stuff? Uh, they're all super great. The best cards, though, are the Kurosari and the Karamon. No questions asked. And the Inframon. Inframon's broken. Yeah, Inframon's actually just nuts. Want to come on my podcast and talk Digimon, fam? Share all your opinions there. If you want to like uh, reach out to me, sure. Uh, Twitter's always a good place. Uh, and maybe send me the topics and stuff you want to discuss. I'd be more than happy to consider it. I'm always open to doing podcasts. I find them very fun. I'm excited for that new promo Kurosari. Me too, Seabed. Me too, dude. That card is nuts. Giving things decoy. I'm, I'm for it. I'm about it, never doubt it. You know what I mean?
just geek out on anime and Digimon, whatever you want. Hey, it's your show, man. <sighs> I'll talk about whatever you want to talk about if we come on, but... If it's like an interview, if it's just like a discussion, I need to know the deets, man, so I can have my questions prepared. <laughs> Gotta talk to my publicist, also known as me. <laughs> Make sure I know what I'm gonna say. Yo, chat, I'm one of those guys that straight up, like, before I make a phone call, I'll straight up, like, um, rehearse what I'm gonna say. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else rehearse what you're gonna say before you make the phone call? Because, like, I think I sound terrible on the phone. Also, through a microphone, uh, ironically. Uh, <laughs> I also think, I ha I know I know I have a speech impediment, which comes across very, very hard. <laughs> and, like, I, 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 I can go on tangents on phone calls, and sometimes I want to get, like, get to the point, depending on who I'm calling. And I need to, like, get ready for that. I don't think it's like nervousness that I like won't know what to say if it if there's like a lull. But have you ever had those lulls in phone calls where you where you're both just like listening to the ring, and you're like, "Are we done talking on the phone now?" And they're like, "Sure." <laughs> uh. Yeah, I can mumble too. Just got into Digimon, what should I buy to start? Big Tempo, I literally have a video called Getting Started in the Digimon TCG. It's super useful. I highly recommend you check it out and then adjust according to our format. But the number one thing I can tell you is research, research, research. Make sure you understand every single card or every single relevant card that you're gonna want to potentially play with before you start committing to building decks. Because when you commit to things you're not actually sure about, that's how you can lead to unsatisfactory purchases, which can lead to just an overall not fun experience. For interviews, it's a bit different. Like if it's a phone call interview, maybe I'll think about what I'm gonna say, but if it's like an in-person interview, I, I tend to just like walk in and just let them ask me questions. I, I, I also tend to like do that thing where like you ask the interviewer questions. I do that too. Yeah, round two is gonna start uh, in about 10 minutes. They said they're gonna post it up in about 10 minutes. They still have to like input the results and like drop players manually so like it can get complicated any thoughts on bt7 i'm excited for the green hybrid me too there's a lot of fun stuff in green in uh, set seven i've been seeing a lot of cool hybrid stuff that i'm really into i saw a deck the other day that i liked i forget what it was here on let me look it up really quick keep talking in the chat while i scour the unit the, the internet for this really quickly I don't, I can't find it. Oh well. Maybe, maybe I took a picture on my phone of it because I did see a deck that I liked. And usually if, I, if, if I'm on my phone, I'll take a screenshot of it just to look at it again later. Ah, this might've been it. Yes, Cherubimon, that's the deck that I think is cool. Cherubimon's pretty sick and it has some really powerful option cards and all the tamers you can play in them are pretty sick. Like the, like the Kari purple tamer um, the Kochi Tamer, like they're all so cool and you play like the low amount and stuff. I actually really like that deck. I think it's a super neat list. Yellow Hybrid Shine Greymon, baby. Yes, sir. Dude, Yellow Hybrid is putting in the work. That It's because Yellow and Purple have the best Tamers, man. Confirmed. 
we, we it's it, it's just straight facts what more do you want me to say What more do you need me to say, to be honest? That jamming makes me curious if you can get it to Zubagon Punch. Thomas H. Nornstein. <laughs> Is the H really in his name for his card? I, I, I'm pretty sure it just says Thomas Nornstein, right? A low count of level three? Hey, when you play a high count of Tamers, they are basically your level threes, aren't they? H is in there? Oh my god, that's hilarious, dude. When is the next match? Should be in about seven minutes or so. Enjoy your streams as Digimon content. You should do some unboxing videos. I I I try to do some whenever uh, new sets come out and stuff. What time does the tourney start? It started about two hours ago. <laughs> yes, Alex. Here is hoping that Bandai releases an automatic sorting system. Sorry, I was reading a really cool thing. So how does Drogo... Oh, I can, I can explain Drogas really quick for those that don't, haven't seen it. So basically, the way Drogas works, at least the way we've described it, or seen it described, is... At this point, you need two different level fives. I'm assuming for ultimates, you'll need two different level fours. But for Mastodon, you need one of them to be yellow, one of them to be purple. You basically just overlap the two stacks, and then you evolve for free into the said Drogas Digimon, and then you do all Digivolve stuff after that. It's basically our version of XZ summoning. It's XZ summoning from the hand. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player and know what that means. <laughs> I 
Lady Devamon and Andrew Wilmon. What? How is it? What is it? I use Lady Devamon and Andrew Wilmon to build the overlay network. What? What else do they say in 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 Zexel? Life is a game. They say it can win. I'll never amount to nothing. Tear me down before my life begins. I won't be afraid to challenge myself. I won't ever break my high or my dream of dying. If I high fire the sky, spread my wings, take off, it's time to fly. Take a chance to make it all the way. Take a chance, forget it yesterday. Take a chance with me. <gasps> Nothing will bring me down. Don't retreat when I leave all my things behind. All those <laughs> <laughs> I used to do this joke on my stream where I would just like begin uh, an anime intro like totally normally and then just like progressively sing it faster and faster. <laughs> uh, and that was always the one I went to first because it's super easy to sing it fast because it's just like a bunch of words next to each other. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so funny. Okay. You can tell that in, like in between rounds is when I become my most crazy. I'm actually going to take this time to order some food because by the time the round is over I'm gonna want food so I'm gonna use my big brain here chat Get your game on when you start your next round. Oh man. Get your game on. I did used to say that, fun fact chat. I actually used to say when I was like a wee little lad playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd be like, get your game on. Get set to get decked. I normal summon elemental hero Avion. Polymerization. Flare Wingman. All that stuff. I used to I used to be a big old weeb as a kid. <laughs> Chaz it up. Does does Chaz ever say Chaz it up? But like he does it like unironically. Like he'll like like he'll do it to get the party started. To like have everyone else say it and then he'll stop saying it. Like he'll be like, Chaz it up or whatever Chaz sounds like. I forget. It sounds like that though. Did you also have a dual disc? I did. I, I had the really cool um season four. Um, Silivori Calco's dual disc. I had that one. That is a sick dual disc. It was. It was so cool, dude. I wish I still owned it. I, I probably do. I just, I, just have, I just have no idea where it is. Should I open my boxes of BT1 through BT5 or save them? Uh, well, what's your reason for saving them? Is it just so you can have nice, pristine boxes that you care about and want to keep safe? Or is it because you think they're going to get stonks in the future? Um, if it's the latter, just open them now, man. <laughs> But if it's the former, by all means, whatever you want. So I'd be the Steel Gym Leader? Yes, sir! Steel Pokemon is my favorite type, confirmed. I got Dino DNA, partner! <laughs> Did you see Kaiba's deck in the briefcase that you can get? Yeah, they are coming out with Kaiba's briefcase, man. That's pretty sick. You go bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> he does say that and then like it'll do like this really cool like you go bye bye but it's like a zoom I can't zoom on this lens so I wouldn't do it but you guys get what I'm saying <sighs> can we get a dual disc format where everyone tries to come to a YCS with a dual disc dude <laughs> hey Hey, that would have been a really cool way to socially distance and do IRL events, man. It's just by using dual discs. <laughs> that would have been pretty fire. Screw the rules. I have money. I used to be able to do a good Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged Kaiba. Hold on. Let me let me try and get in that mindset. Shut up, Mokuba. 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 Screw the rules, I have money! I don't know! I'm not- I don't know guys! That felt pretty good! Uh, it was there for a second, it was definitely there for a second. We had it, right? We had it. For like a minute, right? Like, we- we were there. I can't- I can't know for sure, I'm hearing it back, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. 
my stream is just going to slowly devolve into mindless hand motions. Ah, good. Pairings are up. We can stop. <laughs> Let's see what we got coming in. Going to table 152, baby. Right? Yeah. No, no. Ah, uh, uh, different num. It's 129. I don't know why I said 152. Fun fact, I lost last round. I'm actually going up up a table. <laughs> That's how many people we have. It's not letting me join the call. There we go. Howdy, howdy. Steve. Hello. Hey, are you cool if I stream this, my friend? Not a problem, man. Ah, I need thank the you. Views. I'm sorry? I said, do it for the views, man. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. And then I can't see you, by the way, if you think I can. Oh, wait, there you go. There go. Perfection. Yeah. You're fine. You're yeah, fine. I was, yeah, I was just texting somebody real quick. Oh, no worries. You're good. And then is uh, Two Dice High real good to pick who goes first? Yes, sir. Well, awesome. excited for bt6 yes sir not excited that it got delayed but i am excited for the new set right right but it's all right i don't mind playing uh bt5 for a little while longer yeah i'm, I'm, I'm getting the hang of it so far uh cut or tap by the way uh cuts fine that is the worst like when you finally think you figured out a format and then like they change it uh for you half and seven is fun okay and and then you and then you said half right yeah just cut it just straight half is fine and then, uh, I don't know if the timer is going on. My assumption is, is it's about to. Yeah. So two dice high real good for you? Yes, sir. I've got a 10. I have... Seven, uh, eight. All right, so I'll no, no, three, three. Not a Team problem. Works. So I'll be going first. Let me just make yep, sure. Seven. Separate my life. Alrighty, yep, and then once you're ready, we are good to start. Yes, sir. Good luck to you. Good luck to you as well. I'll go ahead and hatch Kapurimon. Let's evolve into Hagurumon to draw. And then I'll evolve into Dark Tyranno, give you one and draw. Sure. Go to one, draw for turn. Let's flip uh, Sumimon. Uh, let's go Hagurumon. Draw a card. You got it. And let's go. Kurosari for two. Put you to one. Draw All a right. card. I'm at one. Draw. Let's go Gogma to give you two, and I'll draw. Draw. Uh, I will keep. I'll stay back in the raisin area. Sure. And let's go. Inframon for three. Put you to one. Draw a card. One. Draw. <clears throat> let's promote Gogma. Sure. Activating Gogma's Digiburst to give him plus 2000. Okay. And then I will evolve in... What's his current DP? Uh, so he's currently 9. Okay. And then I'll evolve into Metal Garbaru to give you 2 draw, activating the Digiburst to uh, mill you with security. Okay. Over to you. You're at 2. Uh. And the 2,000 from the uh, Gogma It still is on, yeah. So currently he is 13, 14, thanks to his Gogma. Okay, and that's till the end of the turn? Yes. Okay. Let's promote the Inframon. And 
let's play. Play a Rada Sonata, put you to one. I am at one. Draw. Let's hatch Capurimon. Mm -hmm. I'll evolve into the shiny Commandra to draw. Okay. I'll go ahead and swing at you for 12. Okay. All right, 11k. Sure. Good vibes. I will then evolve into Zwart Defeat to give you two. Draw. Let's kill your Arata. Sure. Over to you. You're at two. Okay. Let's flip over. Find this over. Let's go. Caramon. Draw a card. Let's go. All right, Infernal Mon lets me Digivolve for one less. Yep. So let's go Diabormon for two. Go to zero. Draw a card. And for every Diabormon I have, security attack plus one. Yes, sir. And then Sumamon, if attacking once per turn, if he is identified in the type, I draw one. This is like my favorite deck, so I know what everything does. You're fine. Cool. So let's go 11k security attack plus one, and I'll draw. That is good. First one, six. And the second one is 12. He's dead. And then let's go Izzy Izumi for four. Uh, effective Izzy, look at the top three. Black, black, and black. So I'll gain a memory. I'm at three. And then reset. Let's see what we have. Let's go this way. And pass turn. Okay, uh, I'll draw. I guess, yeah, that's never bad. I'll promote, I'll stay in. And then I'll, did you evolve into tank to go to two, draw? I'll swing at you for 14. Okay, uh, 2K. Sure. Survives. I will then play a Guramon to go to zero. And then I will evolve into Gogma to give you three and draw. Turn. And your stack is a. So Omni. the metal and a Gogma. Okay. I will keep the Karamon where it is. Mm hmm. And let's go. Go sorry for two. Yep, go to one. Go to one. Draw a card. Real quick. Let's go Ultimate Flare, put you to seven. Target? D -dig Digivolve the uh, uh, Zord Defeat. Sure, and then he'll go back to a Gogma and swap back. I'm at seven, I'll draw. Sir. Let's promote Gogma. Activating his Digiburst twice, I'll give plus 2,000 to himself and then plus 2,000 to this Gogma. I'll evolve into Blastmon to go to four, draw. I'll swing at you for 15, 16, plus one security attack. Okay. One, and about another. And then I'll swing for game. Sure. First or second for game two, boss? I will go first. Sounds good. Let's get this egg out of here. Uh, how would you like me to cut? Uh, whenever you are done, half and three. Half and three. Okay. So half and one, two, and three. Cut or tap? Uh, cut. Let's go uh, half and five. Half. Good luck, sir. 
Best of luck to you as well. Are you going first or second? Going first. Sounds good. Lip. Caramon, draw a card. And curse, sorry for two. I'm at draw two. Card. Draw. Satch Kapuri. Yeah. Evolve into Toyaguma to draw. Mm -hmm. Evolve into Tankmon to go to one to draw. Let's evolve into Monzemon. I'll give you one and draw. Sorry, in the raisin area. We'll play Caramon, put you to two. Effect of the Caramon, reveal top five. And we'll add the Arvada Sonata and the Caramon. Mm -hmm. Bottom deck the rest. And pass. Draw. I guess that works. Promote. Go and evolve into high andro to go to zero draw. Sure. Swing at you for 12. Four. And then I will evolve into Zwart Defeat to give you three and draw. Uh, we'll keep Kurosari in the Raisin area. You got it. Let's go Kurosari for two. Go to one. Go to one. Uh, effect when digivolving, if I don't have a Rada Sonata, I can play one. Mm -hmm. So we'll play the one I grabbed earlier for free. And then... In for one for three. Put you to two. I meant to. Draw a card. I'll draw a card thanks to Toyagumon, and then sure. I'll draw a card for turn. Hatch. Let's evolve into Toyagumon to draw. Okay. Swinging you for 13. That's another? Sure. Involved in a dark tyranno to go to one draw. Okay. I'll play Dark Tyranimon to give you five. You'll go to seven. Okay. And Dark Tyranimon's the blocker? Yes, sir. Drop a turn. Uh, let's promote the Inframon. You board one for three. Go to four. four. Draw one. And then Arata Sonata's effect that will tap each to play two tokens. Easier. Curse Armon, all my Digimon with the same name get rushed. Mm -hmm. And then while I have another Digimon with the same name, it gets plus two. 
Mm -hmm. So Diablo Armand is currently 13. Mm -hmm. And he is security attack 1, 2, 3. Mm -hmm. Let's go Catastrophe Cannon. Put myself to zero. D Digivolve the Zwart by two. And then I get a token as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's swing Shadow Token to your stack for 3,000. That is fine. 11 is dead. Okay. Let's go 3,000 to the stack. Seven, it's dead. Okay. Let's go 3,000. Ultimate Flare, target your Diabormon, it'll die. Sure. Okay. And let's go... Let's go make a Norimon put you to four. I'm at four. Draw. Let's promote. Okay. Let's play Warumanzemon to go to two. I'll draw. Okay. I'll go ahead and swing seven at your token. Okay. Let's play Toyagumon, you'll go to one, you'll go to three, reboot. Okay. Draw. Flip Sumimon. Sumimon to Karamon, draw a card. Let's go Izzy, put you to one. Izzy's effect. Sure. Black, black, and black. I'll go back to zero. And then let's... Let's put it back in this order. And let's go Kurosarimon for two. And two. draw a card. Effect to Toyagumon, I'll draw a card. And then I'll draw for turn. Okay. Hatch. It's evolving a toy to draw. Sure. Okay. Swing at you for six. Take one. Six. Sure. Swing at you for seven. Uh, catastrophe cannon. Target. Let's digivolve the War Romanzi. Sure. And then delete everyone that is. Uh, that's a catastrophe cannon. Off. That's not ultimate flare. Oh yeah, you're right. You are correct. Let's go ahead and evolve into Dark Tyranno to go to one. Sure. Then I'll play Chumon. You'll go to three. And then you go to okay. five. Over to you. Cool. Promote the Kurosai. Two monsters I can't gain any memory. Yes, yeah, so you cannot gain memory through um, non tamer based effects. That is correct. 
And you currently have two security? Yep. And is that two dark type animons on the field? Yep. Inframon for three. Go to, Go two. to two. Draw a card. Let's go uh, Diabormon for two. Sure, go to zero. Zero, draw a card. Arata Sonatas. Tap two for two tokens. Uh, all tokens have rushed because of the Kurosarimon. Sure. Shadow token will swing its stack security for three. Block that. Sure. Shadow token will swing for three. That's fine. Dogma is dead. Okay. Bormon will swing for 11. Security attack plus one. That's fine. 11, he's dead. Okay. Let's go another Mechanori for four. I'm at four. Draw. Promote. Not an easy decision. True. Ah, no tank mons, eh? One tank mon and we can party right now. Oh, okay. Okay, I think... This is always correct. Yeah. Let's evolve into seals to go to two. Draw. Swing at you for seven, go to zero. That's fine. Evolve into Dark Tyrannomon, you'll go to three, you'll go to five. Okay. Three Dark Tyrannomons on the board? Yeah. Drop a turn. Let's flip the egg. Build Chumon on the board. Let's mm -hmm. go Caramon. Draw a card. Oak. 
Kurosari for two. Draw a card. Play Karamon for three, go to zero. Reveal top five. Three, four, and five. We'll add Infirmon to hand. Sure. And bottom deck the rest. How big are the, the Dark Tide Venomons? Five, five. This will be six on my turn. This is one. Okay. Let's go Arvada Sedata. I'm at three. Oh, and then Effect Tori Agamon will let me draw one more. Yes, sir. Hatch. Tankmon. Ay, vey. Never thought Tankmon would be an out in my deck that I need. You found another rush one, eh? If I don't draw Tankmon off of this, I think I just lose. I think I do. Because that doesn't do anything. I couldn't make an Ori cost three. Let's think here. Let's evolve into Waru. Go to one. Draw. Swing at you for six. Uh, we have to block that. Yeah, and that's game. No tank mod to get the last one out. Jesus, were they just all in there? Yeah, all right. I'll go first for game three. Not a problem. Uh, I can't out Mecha Norimon because all my attackers that aren't tank mod are blockers, eh? Okay. You said you're going first? Yeah, I'll be going first. All right. Uh, cutter tap. F is fine. Okay. Cutter tap. Uh, just tap. Cut. Good luck, sir. Best of luck. Okay. Right. Go ahead and hatch Kapurimon. Evolve into Toyagumon to draw. I'll evolve into Dark Tyranno to give you one and draw. Sure. Let's flip. Go Hagurumon, draw a card. Let's go... Karamon, put you to two. Effect, reveal top five. Let's grab... The Kurosari Mon. Let's grab the Diabormon. Sure. 
and bottom deck the rest. I'll go ahead and promote Dark Tyranomon. Sure. And then I'll just play Tor Agumon to give you one. Go ahead. Go Hagrumon into Kurosaimon, put you to one, and draw a card. Draw for turn. Hatch. Go and evolve into Toyagumon to draw. Mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and evolve into Waru to give you one draw. Okay. Let's go Izzy for four, put you to three. Effective Izzy, uh, white, so it doesn't matter. And let's your range is like this. Sure. Drop the turn. Way. Yes, sir. Let's evolve into War Greymon to go to zero, draw. I'll go ahead and swing at you for 12. Just 12 straight? Yep. Cool, 4K. And then I'll end my turn by evolving into Defeat to give you three and I'll kill Izzy. Reboot. Sure. Draw for turn. I leave Curse Armon in the back. You got so, it. Okay. Infamon, go to zero, draw a card. Digivolve for three to Mekinori and draw a card. Draw for turn. I'll stay in, and then I'll swing for 14. Okay. Uh, 11. Sure. I'll evolve into tank to go to two, draw. Okay. And then for turn, I'll evolve into Gogma to give you one draw. Okay. Stay in the back. Mm -hmm. Play a Rada Sonata and put you to two. I'm at dose. I'll draw. That's fine. Promote. I'll go and activate Gogma's Digiburst three times. Two of the times okay. I'll target himself. One of the times I'll target my defeat. Absolutely. I'll swing at you for 16. We'll block that one. Sure. Swing for one. Five is dead. So he's currently 11? Yeah. Feels like what I should do, but I know it's not.
Swing at you for 11. Two. I'll play toy, give you one, you'll go to two. Okay. And then reboot. I think that is all she wrote, but won't go down without a fight. Two. Let's promote. Yes, sir. Let's go Dia Bormon for two. Go, yep, to, go zero. to zero. Draw. Arata, play a token. Uh, Kurosari gives the token rush. Yes, sir. Uh, Dia Bormon will swing at the Gogma for 11. Okay. And draw your card. Draw, draw card. And then they'll crash? Yeah. Uh, token will swing for... Th oh, no, it doesn't have rush anymore because it's gone. Mm-hmm. Play Mechanoi puts you to four. I'm at four. Draw. Hatch Capurimon? Oh, that's not a rookie. That is. Evolve and draw. Swing at you for 14. Two. Evolve into Dark Terror Manor to go to three. Draw. Okay. Evolve into Gogma to go to zero, draw. Activating okay. both effects to target himself. Yeah. Swing at you for 11. A uh, block. Sure. And then for turn. Just go ahead and play Izzy. We go to four, revealing one, two, and three. They're all black. Go to three. Three. And then we'll put Toy, then Waru, then Mega. Okay. And then you go back to four. Over to you. Yeah. Reboot. Let's go. Aravon. Draw. Reboot. Yeah, because that's game. Let's sacrifice a token. Sure. Uh, play Armageddon for three. Am I one? Sorry, you're at one. Armageddon will punch the Gogma. Sure. Oh, no. Yeah, right, that's rush, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're chilling. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, chilling. There's a guy in the back, and I have no security. Uh, Catastrophe Cannon to de evolve the Zord defeat, and I believe you have game. Mad 3, promote, and swing. Yep. GG, okay, boss. Ugh, this matchup is so difficult. If I don't see Gogmas, man, all your, all your option cards are the most annoying things in the world to deal with. Uh -huh. And those Mecha Noris, man, I just never had enough memory to go up into ultimates back to back while not dying. So it was so difficult to like figure out game there. Just needed the Gogma and or the tank, but I ran out of Gogmas, I think, because I had like two in security in that second game. But I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I completely forgot that your Gogmas stayed for the both turns. So yeah, I, I yeah, it's really useful. Killer. And like the best thing about it is like it gets rid of all the sources. So like if you ultimate flare, it's just a, a gogma again. So like we're chilling it, yeah. on that. And I'm like 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 playing around that removal spell is such a big deal. And that's why I, I would like rush defeats because it lets me keep the champion because you can only get rid of the three dudes. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, but then also like like getting into the grind game with the Abormon, you have so much advantage out of nowhere. I'm like, how do I turn off your advantage to not die to then try to kill you? With Mecha Noris, it's very difficult. And I'm just yeah. like, I'm, those Mega Noris are sticky. I, I have to attack over them, and I can't do that right now, because if I attack with anything, I'm going to die. 
Yeah, I, 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 I'm uh. sad because I, I cut from three to two because I kept seeing too many and couldn't go into my chain properly. Yeah, so I that's the one bad thing about him. I think two is the correct number. I do a two, two of him and Shademon right now. Um, okay. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I had Shademon, took the Shademons out for that, and then I ended up going back into... I'm running a four... Four, four of the other Kurosaris, and then I'm running two of the promo. Yeah, I saw the blocker went in there. I'm not a big fan of that card because it like just feels worse than Shademon. Like I, I, I don't know what I, it does I, for you because it's still searchable off of uh, Karamon, uh Shademon is. So I, I said I said the exact same thing. I put this, I put this in last night. I was taking out. I was running four Mekis, took two out, and I was like, well, this is cheaper, and it's on it's on brand. I completely forgot about Shademon because I just took them all out of the deck. Right, 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 right. right. Shademon feels great when it's in security, but when I draw them all, it was like, okay, this is what does this do? It's the same thing as drawing that though at a certain point, right? Like, like yeah, it just exactly. is a blocker that has a body. Cause like, if you're hard playing it, you're like, like hard, hard playing either of those is no bueno. Cause like, yeah. it can't turn into your in, into your uh, common in from one from set five. And yeah. it, it, it just is like two more turns away from becoming a Diaborma potentially if you don't have a Rada already in play. So like, it just feels like yeah. a worse card compared to Shademon where in Shademon, like the at worst, he's what that card already is. And at best exactly. he's a free dude in security. So like, I, I just feel like the overall payoff is way better for him. Absolutely, but playing Mechanormon is like is like mandatory. You have to play like one yes. or two of it. It's so good, such a powerful oh, card. Yeah, yeah I, I wish I if I I would have won last round if I saw it against Rookie Rush. Oh dang! One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really useful because like they have to waste all their removal on your Diabormon stuff, so they can't waste it on your Mechs. And if they don't yeah. waste it on your Diabormon stuff, you just spam a board, you smash them, and then you go Ultimate Flare, and then you're like game, and they're like, oh dang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good game, man. You too, man. Peace. Bye, man. Black Mirror match, folks. That was some tough Digimon right there. It is tough to grind with Diaboramon, man. The amount that they just plus is insane. What table were we at? Let me just go ahead and type that in. That was a really nice guy. Always love seeing Diaboramon players repping. Table 129, Steven 1, 2-1. I'll put my last name too because I think they care about that. Bam. Who had doubts? Chat, did you guys believe in me that whole time or did you have doubts? Hold on there. I'm, I'm, I'm catching up the chat. The chat is scrolling like a mother lover right now. Give me a second. I gotta just open this up. Hold on. Let me make my life 1 million percent easier. There we go. What is the record? We are currently 1 1 through two rounds, folks. The salty run back continues. <laughs> it began and now it's continuing. Are people talking about the rush effect? I believe because it's a your turn constant effect, it's not like it's given it. It's given it while the Kurosari is on board. So it actually loses it. So like, I'll show you guys. I'll read you exactly what Kurosari Mon does. So the inheritable effect of Kurosari Mon reads, your turn, all of your Digimon with the same name as this Digimon gain Rush. It's not when a Digimon of the same name is played, it gains Rush. If it was the same wording as the other Kurosarimon, the one that gains memory, which is like when dudes are played or the Karamon that says when dudes are played, yes, it would give it to them for the entire turn. But because it's worded as your turn, continuous effect, all of your Digimon with the same name as is when gain Rush. So if this inheritable goes away, they lose Rush. Are we good? <laughs> For the people that don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Guys, I, I, I jammed you a Borm on like so much. I know what the rulings were. I don't think we got any wrong there. <laughs> that was a crazy match, wasn't it, chat? Yo, who loved all the Gogma plays? Chat. People are like, why is he shotgunning Gogma? Be like, to dodge ultimate flare, boys. That's the strats, man. That's the strats. Come on, those were some strats right there, man. I was pulling out all the stops against Diaboramon. That clutch Chumon coming down the late game to buy me the turns I need to never draw Tankmon. Literally, guys, Tankmon or Gogma would have gotten it for me, man. But I did. I, I had two Gogmas in the security, 
only one left in deck. I had four, I think I had, I think I also had a tank mod in security. So three tank mod, four Gogma, four outs in the deck. I drew like 20 billion cards that game, didn't see it once. Ah! But yeah, Gogma is MVP in that matchup, no questions asked. Gogma is an MVP. So is like really any Digiverse card, let's be honest. Gogma, no, Gogma is always the MVP chat. Gogma is always the best card in this deck. I, I, I want to play four Gogma so badly, but getting that, you know, Megidramon, sorry, Me Megadramon plus Toyogamon reboot blocker on Sword Defeat is, that's just nuts. <laughs> that's just super fun. Yeah, I'm only playing one Izzy. It's one Izzy, three flares. It used to be two, two. I, I do think Izzy has her purpose, and I don't think four flare has a purpose. So I like having the Izzy in the deck. It's a fun way for you while you already have, like instead of ending my turn on going into X antibody and leaving myself open for removal, I can play Izzy instead, guarantee myself three for the next turn to turn my defeat into an, Izzy, into an X antibody. It's a really useful card uh, for setting up that kind of plays, but it's not like a needed play that has to happen every single game. So playing only one of it is really nice for when you do see it. That's why it's in the deck. Wound up having to drop because my brother got into a car accident one round one. I was playing Imperial today. Oh, Robert, hopefully he's okay. We wish him well. Blesses in the chat some for, for your brother. And hey, good job on you for winning round one. Take care of your family. Always comes first. And hey, at least you get to keep your prizes still because it doesn't matter how many you get, how many rounds you play. So, augers. Have you thought about Ty and Matt just for more checks with Omni? You don't really need to be that much more aggressive. I don't really think there's any matchups to where once you properly set up defeat that goes unchecked that you need to just be super aggressive with. Um, but I could see it coming up. I could see it potentially being a better tamer than uh, Izzy. But a lot of the time, if I go for my mem memory tamer, I would like to follow it up with a card like X Antibody, which will kill their level six. Or I'll follow it up with a card like Ultimate Flare, which will also get rid of their level six. So I might be turning off my own tie-in mats that way. But I do see it being a, a useful card. Like I think I think it's the best memory tamer to play for the deck besides Izzy. I'll say that. Is the stream good, by the way, y'all? I'm getting some getting some buffering, I think. You guys see me? If you guys can hear me, let me know. There might be a little delay or something. We hears you stream is awesome. Hear you clearly and see you clearly. Okay, thanks guys. I just want to make sure. There might be a slight like delay, but it shouldn't affect your guys' experience of any of, of anything. Maybe my internet's just acting up a little bit, but I'm getting I'm getting good bit rate. I'm getting good CPU usage. Stream is still up on here. This year. How's everyone today? Nothing, nothing much, man. Just chilling, playing some Digimon in the DC One Grand Prix. Currently one and one, playing Black Turbo Defeat. Overall, enjoying myself. And this always happens. Like I, I gotta learn to stop turning on my computer when um when what's it called uh when i stream like i gotta stop turning on my computer the day i stream man it's so frustrating 
when are we calling it second half um so my guess is is the the, the, the tournament's gonna be eight rounds so we'll do the first four rounds here on youtube and then the last four rounds over on twitch so after round four we'll move over there so guys be sure to follow link is down below or type in the chat exclamation point twitch follow me there follow me here so you don't miss out on any of the awesome digimon action we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow for the top cut uh for the top cut evo cup top cut evo cup that sounds weird how do you sign up for these uh registration goes live usually on the world at digimoncard.com events website or you can find them on the gen con website people announce them like on facebook servers facebook servers facebook posts or discord servers make sure you're part of the main two digimon tcg groups so you don't miss out on those announcements what color do you think Le leviathan will be i could see him being blue i could see every single demon lord being purple um I think I, th I think those are the two two ways they're gonna go about it. I think having them all be purple makes sense because like a majority of them will have to be purple, and so like having like one or two that aren't seems kind of weird. First time checking out one of your streams. It's been great so far. Trying to build some knowledge for playing in store championship tomorrow and Evo Cup on Sunday. Liam, pleasure to have you. Thank you for joining us and best of luck to you in all your events. That reminds me, yo, if everyone in chat that can hear my voice would do me a big favor and type hi in the chat, H-I. And if this is your first time ever checking out one of my live streams, type hi, I am new. Let me know how you found the channel and be sure to follow me over on Twitch. I stream way more often over there with all kinds of fun TCG related stuff, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh! And we always throw in some awesome just chatting and banter at every single point. Links are down below for all that stuff. Definitely check it out. Also, if you're following me on stuff, follow me on Twitter. I think we're about to hit 2,100 followers, which is like pretty insane. And also one more thing, sorry guys. I know everyone hates working, but this really isn't work. If you guys are excited for the continuation of today's live stream, be sure to smash that like button. Give us some increased luck for the next rounds to come so we can keep taking down the tournament and doing that salty run back like you know we always do. Also, uh, liking live streams on YouTube is like really broken for the algorithm. So like, let's destroy that. Yo. What's that say? Avrif Subki. I am so sorry. What 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 denomination super chat is that? I actually don't even know. MYR chat. What is MYR? What um what what monetary de denomination is that? I majored in economics. I should know this. But thank you for the super chat of hey you. I really do appreciate it. How to get started with Digimon TCG. Well, there you go, A6. Case tournament tomorrow morning. Let's go. Oh, yes. Guys, this is going to be a crazy weekend for me. I'm playing today. I'm playing tomorrow. And I'm playing in a store championship on Sunday. Crazy. Hey, man. Best of luck today. Do you think Red Omnimon will ever be back on top at any point? Um, Not like the Red Omni that you're used to seeing. Like a version of my deck but red that probably won't ever come back because red doesn't really have anything going for it that'll make that over but Greymon tribal and of course um animon will always be around in red decks as a really nice sort of capitalization whether it's the blitz one or the removal one or even x anybody so red animon will exist in spirit it'll never just be what it once was though malaysian ring it is what you guys are saying that myr denomination is i've never heard of that denomination of currency but it sounds wonderful is it like coins or is it, I, I'm sure at some point they're always paper. Malaysia bro, haha, I appreciate it. Thank you, Yari, for the support. Glad I can catch a stream. What deck did you think you'll play? Um, so I am playing Black Defeat. Tomorrow though, I don't know. I kind of want to mix it up with some Star Lord. I kind of want to mix it up with something spicy that I'm keeping in the back burner for now. I got some ideas. I won my uh, store champs with pure yellow rookie rush. Get after a nettles. How does this deck deal with Hexablau? Um, you actually build a lot of sources and getting rid of their tamers with um, with uh, defeat is really clutch. Also, you can just like beat over them. Like, like, like think of it this way. I essentially play eight different evolution cards, which means worst comes to worst, I can attack like eight different times with naked dudes, like once per turn, right? 
How do you predict the future of Musketeers will be? I think it'll be a really cool high roll version of like security control. I think it'll be a powerful deck, but for it to do like super well, you have to get really lucky. Um, but I think good players with the deck will see success and I do like the strategy overall. And if it got more support cards in the future, which I think it got confirmed some in set seven, I forget though, um, that could be cool. Personally, not the biggest fan of it though. If I wanna play security control, I'm playing security control. I'm not gonna play Musketeers. Even though Musketeers technically, I think does better against security control than security control does against Musketeers, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> So they just called time and overtime, so we should be getting the next round pretty soon, folks. How do you feel about this set? Set five, super interesting. Gave us a bunch of awesome cards and led to a pretty neat format, I think. I do think that obviously Lord Nightmon is the deck to beat and that's always annoying, but it's nice having a deck to beat. Cause that way the meta can like shape itself around it. I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of a solved meta because then you can break it with like neat, like off meta stuff. If it's strong enough to beat obviously the meta stuff. I think I should have some time. Ugh, I kind of want to get some more water because my throat is killing me. I think I have time. Really quick chat, I'm gonna go get some Fresh Agua in the meantime. Enjoy jamming to the tunes. Ain't no ads on YouTube. Boom. That's the wrong button again. Boom. close. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I tried to be fancy chat. I can't be fancy like that.
Hey Steven, I'm trying to work on Ancient Grey Tribal Build and the other builds on YouTube seem all right, but I feel like they could be optimized. If I send you a photo of the list, could you give it to the True Champion Diagnosis? I can do even one better, Jorgen. Jordan, sorry. You can join my Discord server, link is down below in the chat, or type in X Squish Point Discord and you can share it in there. There's a bunch of really active Digimon players that are probably smarter than me, a good chunk of them, and they can definitely help you out. Highly recommend doing that. Ah oh, man, yeah, dude. The one, the one crappy thing about remote duels is like you have to have like good internet sometimes. <laughs> but like Discord shouldn't be that difficult to run on most machines. It's like usually when people like have that kind of stuff, it is like on the more scuffed side of setups. But it is still unfortunate, no matter what your circumstances are, to like get a bad connection. I don't think I've ever had a bad connection, have I? I've had like OBS crash, but because Discord was still open and the camera was being run through Discord and not through OBS, I was still playing, just no one saw it, so it was fine. But yeah, I, I've had OBS crash before. Went through that time, went through time again, lol. Oh, Alec, my man! It, was it another mirror match or was it like, you just like taking forever to win game two or something? Cause like, I've had those where like, we have really short game ones, really long game twos, and then game three can never finish because we're both just trying to scramble and like big brain each other the whole time. And so we're taking too long to make decisions and then we're like, Miss out on time. That can happen to me a lot. Happened to me yesterday playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Straight up. I was just sitting there like, so what does that do? What does that do? What does that do? And then I'm like, well, what am I going to do about that? And then the things I thought I could do, I'm like, no, that doesn't work because like, they're not going to go to graveyard. It doesn't matter if they go to graveyard. Oh my God. Interactions, man. Interacciones. Mmm. Long game two? Yeah, that can happen. Yes, Alec and the rest of the Team APS crew make some killer videos. Watched the Yu-Gi-Oh stream yesterday, really enjoyed it. Are you liking to do more Yu-Gi-Oh or would you consider doing Pokemon as well? I do plan on playing Pokemon next month, so don't worry about that. I'm just waiting for this format to get more solved so that way I can come and break it. Um, but Yu-Gi-Oh, I've really been enjoying. Definitely gonna keep grinding with it. Um, I'll make probably a proper decision towards the end of the month or once we get like the banlist announcements, like how much more I'm gonna keep grinding um, for this format, like playing tournaments and stuff versus like going to like hard testing mode for the future. We'll see. Skill drain was a no-no, dude. I literally just gave up a thousand life points to not activate my Ecclesia. That is what that is what my <laughs> my skill drain accomplished in that game. Literally dumb. Cause to my knowledge, cards activate where they are. So if your effects trigger while you're on the field, like turns out being destroyed and being on the field and not needing to go to the graveyard is what Unchained cards do. <laughs> so they can dodge skill drain, but they don't actually activate in the graveyard. They resolve in the graveyard, but they activate on the field. I'm like, what? <laughs> How does that make sense? <laughs> Everything I knew about Yu-Gi-Oh was wrong. <laughs> oh man. It, ma it made me question life, everyone, but it's all right. It's all right. We're not gonna make that mistake again. Skill drain coming out in game two, we know. Where does one watch your Yu-Gi-Oh gameplay? I streamed it on Twitch yesterday. You can go check out the Twitch VOD. I need to I need to highlight that VOD, even though it is like me losing a lot. I think we had some really nice talks over there, so I'll keep it as like my memory of like my first ever remote duel, even though it ended terribly. Didn't even get an actual win. I got a buy. <laughs> that was just unlucky. I could have easily played and gotten a win. I'm sure. Cards resolve where they activate, Team Metals, that's what I was saying. But everyone was telling me, no, skill drain does not work on the Unchains. And I go, okay. <laughs> I guess they resolve in where, I guess they resolve wherever they go, but they don't activate wherever they go. It, it literally made no sense to me, but it's all right.
Oh, dude, when I get pranks, when I get prank kids pranks, we're partying, folks. We are partying. Oh, baby, that's gonna be a good day. That is gonna be one real good day. If cards resolve at the end of the chain, yep. You can't like macro them they like like if they're just destroyed by any means they will activate their effects it's just how it happens what's the enchain ruling we were asking about i was just talking about how yesterday skill drain i thought would work on them but that i was wrong and I, I, I accepted the ruling, no problem. I just like could not factor it in my brain of how it worked based on what I knew about Yu-Gi-Oh. But keep in mind, I have two weeks of knowledge on playing Yu-Gi-Oh properly. So, you know, whatever. Prank kids getting hit in the next ban list. How do you hit prank kids? Ba like, like, how do you balance hit prank kids? Like, is it just limit doodle to one? Bro, that, that won't stop the deck. <laughs> one doodle's all you need, what? Like, like, like they have to either kill it or it's still gonna be sick. Like, like, like they can't soft it, man. They gotta just put it in the ground if they don't want people to use it anymore. But I don't think that's true. I like prank kids. I want, I, 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 I want it to stick around if it can. I like the deck a lot. But I do agree, it is nuts. It is a nutso deck. Infinite loops, mystic mind potential ability, all that good stuff. Round three is up, folks. Uh, type one in the chat if you think we're gonna win. Type two if you think we're gonna lose. Anyone who types two will get banned. Just an FYI. <laughs> we can we can commence play immediately. Sick. I'm at table one thirty five. One thirty five. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Of course, I get paired against, you know, a good person. <laughs> Would, are you cool if I stream this, by the way, my friend? Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, give me one second. Get Not it. a problem. Take your time. Go. Why does it always turn off my fucking camera? There we go. Alrighty. Cut or tap? Uh, let's cut. Just doing thirds, I guess. Uh, how do you want me to do mine? Uh, thing? whenever you're done, half and four. Half and four? Uh. Um... Uh, I only got four eggs, so. Oh, no worries, you're fine. And then is, uh, two dice high roll good to pick who goes first? Uh, yeah, I got these if you want to use these instead, but. Oh, we can just uh, roll them, that's fine with me. All right. Uh, get those. I got a nine. Nine. Yep. I just rolled everywhere. All right, let's try that again. Eight. So I'll be going first. And then Sounds I think we're good to start good. whenever we're ready. So best of luck to you, boss. Thanks, so. All right, I'll just go ahead and start off with Dark Tyranimon, you'll get six. Go ahead. What a start. All right. Okay. I will play a baby, I suppose. Uh, and then I will play Durandamon, put you to four. I am at four. Draw. I will hatch. Let's evolve into Waru to go to two. Draw. Sounds good. 
Let's activate Izzy Azumi. You'll get two, revealing one, two, three. They're not all black, so you'll stay at two. I'll go right. uh, Toyagumon, uh, X Antibody, and then Warumanzaman. Sure, sounds good. And then you're at two. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'll play Vimon. Uh, I will swing with random. Two. I will play Tie Man. Put you to. I go to three. three. Draw. Let's evolve into Toyagumon to draw. Sounds good. Let's evolve into Tankmon to go to two. Draw. I'll go ahead and evolve into Warumanzemon to go to zero. Draw. And then I'll evolve into High Andromon to give you two. Draw. Uh. Alright, I'll throw my Vmon up. Yes, sir. You don't, have a, you don't have a blocker, right? No blockers. Um. Just swing with the V-Man, I guess. I'll draw off the Demi. Mm -hmm. Two, he's fine. I will play Ragnarok. Sure. Uh, draw. I'm going to throw another Grand Pivot underneath him. Sure. Can't create memory. Uh, and then I will attack the Ragnar for uh, two checks. Four First two checks. and the second. Sounds good. You got one, Skiri left? Yep. Alrighty. Uh, uh, I'll play Machine Germain, D Digital Evolve, your guy. Put you at 10. I'm at 10. D Digital Evolve. Draw. Oh, reboot. Yep. Let's promote. Let's evolve into Zwart to Feed to go to seven. I'll go ahead and kill your tie in Matt. Let's go ahead and evolve into X Antibody to go to four. Draw. Yep. I'll go ahead and swing five at your Vmon to go to two. Uh. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. Sure. Then I'll go ahead and swing at you. Let's go ahead and kill your machine Jermon. This is gonna be for 16. Sure. Uh single check, right? Yep, just one check. Alright. I'll play Haguramon to go to zero. And then I'll evolve into Dark Tyranomon to give you one reboot. Play baby. Um I will, uh, I'll punch you, Dark Tyranimon. I will negate the attack with Omnimon. Sounds good. Uh, let's do these two. So, it's a high end Okay. Okay. Um, Time man. Three. I'm at three. Draw. Right. Let's hatch Capurimon. I'll evolve into Commandermon to draw. I'll swing at you for 16, killing your Ragna. Uh, ultimate player. Uh, do you just evolve him all the way down? Sure. And so he's dead. Let's evolve into Tankmon to go to two, draw. And then I'll evolve into Megidramon, sorry, Megadramon to give you one, draw. Uh, I'll play Grand, I'm gonna put you in there. I'm at nine, draw. No, sorry, Briar with Ligramon. Let's promote. Let's 
go ahead and evolve into High Andromon to go to seven. Draw. Let's go ahead and evolve into Zwart Defeat to go to four. I'll kill your tie and mat to draw. Let's evolve into Gogma to go to one. Draw. Activating the effect of Gogma, I'll give plus 2,000 to defeat and plus 2,000 to himself until the end of your next turn. And then I'll evolve into War Greymon to give you two. Draw. Uh, play Greymon. You've got your Wargram on 13k, right? Uh, right now, he's actually 14k. 14? Oh, because, wait. Oh, because Gog... Yeah, okay. Yep, Gogma also has an inheritable to give plus one. Is that all turns? I thought it was just... Yep, yeah. all turns. Um... Oh, and the other guy's a blocker. Uh... They're both blockers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will play Machine Javon. I'm at 10 targets. These two? The other two are the target, yeah. Draw. Let's hatch. It's going to evolve into Toyagumon to draw. Let's evolve into Dark Tyranimon to go to 9, draw. I'll evolve into Gogma to go to six, draw. Let's evolve into Blastmon to go to four, draw. I'll go ahead and activate Digiburst to give plus two to Blastmon. I'll swing at you for 16 plus one security. You can use any of your Digimon to block it if you'd like. Um, How much is? 16 DP plus one security attack. Okay. Uh, so you should be at three, not at four, right? Uh, so let's see. I was at nine. You were at nine. I evolved for three probably... to go to six. Evolved for one to go to five. No, no. Yeah, five. I'm actually at two. My bad. Two. Okay. I'm like, uh, four Math is wrong. Right? Math is wrong. Um, so he's 16K hidden twice, right? It's security uh, tech plus one, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't have piercing now because nope. for some reason I get piercing. Um,. I'll, uh, I'll let it go. I'll let you go first for game two. Okay. Don't mind me, just checking setups. Cut or tap, boss. Uh, let's just do thirds again. And then for you, whenever you're done, half and five. And then, like I said, you are first. Whenever you're ready, best of luck to you. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's sped through that first one. Um, my babies don't need to be shuffled. I'm good. All um, right, let's go. Baby. Rookie. Whoa. Um...
Um, I'll play Infamon. Put you seven. Seven. Draw. Match. It's going to evolve in a toy to draw. Let's evolve into seals to go to five. Draw. I'll evolve into Waru to go to three. Draw. I'll evolve into High Andrew to go to one. Draw. And then I'll play Command Dramon to give you one. Um, I'll swing with Vimon. Draw up, Demi. Defeat comes into play. Son of a bitch. Um... Uh, I will play Bravo Lujavon. I'm at two. Play. Draw. Let's promote. Swing at Demon for three. That's life. Uh, swing at you for 13. 13k. Okay. Swing at you for 13. 13k hitting and 11k. I'll activate Izzy. You'll go to two, revealing one, two, and three. They're not all black, so you'll stay at two. And I will go ahead and add to my hand. Oh, sorry, no, uh, we organize. Let's go with Toyagumon on top, Omnimon, and then High Andro. And then reboot, over to you. I will play Omnimon Alter S. Go to four. four. These guys will need evolve. Draw. Hatch. It's evolve to draw. I'll go ahead and swing at you for 13. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, force your other guy. Sure. Let's play Waru, I'll give you one. I will play X anybody. Put you to two or three. Yep. Draw. Draw. Promote. Swing at you yep. for thirteen. Uh, I'll block. I'll stop that. Swing at you for two. I will block that. Sure. Let's evolve into High Andromon to go to one draw. Swing at you for 12. Okay, Cassidus, bounce your army. This guy? Yeah. Evolve an army to give you two draw. All right, so let's go. Don't have a choice, so either way, I'm not making it through. Uh, swing, 
Uh, his effect is mandatory, so. And they both die. And. How many cards is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards. Uh, I'll play Volcano Dramon. I'm at nine. nine. Yeah. Draw. Let's hatch. Let's go ahead and evolve into Toyagumon to draw. Let's play Magidramon to go to two. Yep. Let's play Aguramon to go to zero. And then I'll evolve into Blastmon to give you three draw. Oh my god. Um... Oh, not super ideal. Uh... I will play Machine German, the digital guy, which is nine. Nine? One card in security, right? One card. I'm really praying it's a good card. Remote? Swing at you for three? Come on. Nope. Swing. And then swing, yeah. Yeah, alright. Uh, you can start. I'll be going first. You got it. Cut it down. Um, I don't know. Just uh, give it another shuffle, I guess. Sure. Good. Yeah, all good. And then for you, around. whenever you're done, half and ten. And then I'm first, correct? Yes. Sounds good. Best of luck to you, boss. Yep. Hatch Caprimon. It's going to evolve into Toy Agumon to draw. And then I'll evolve into Seals Dramon. You'll get two, and I'll draw. Uh, I will play Bribe Lu Dramon, put you at eight. Evolve into Megidramon. Go to five, draw. I'll play a Guramon to go to three. I'll evolve into Tankmon to go to two, draw. And then I'll evolve into Gogma to give you one, draw. Uh, baby, Vmon. I will uh, punch it, okay? Sure. Two, three. Uh, 
Liz Wart pushes two. two. And uh, yeah, no target. Evolve draw. Activating the effect of Gogamon twice. I'll go ahead and target Megadramon. Sure. Let's go ahead and evolve into Metal Garuamon to give you one draw. I will go ahead and activate the Digiburst, Digibursting these two to mill you a security. Nice, that's a good one. Yeah, let's go ahead. Um, I will swim with Vimon, check. Block. Or draw. Oh, right, yeah, he's a blocker. All right, that's fine. Um, I'll attack him, I guess. Uh, your guy's dead. It, wait, how I'm 15 because of Gogma. Oh, because of Gogma. Mine. Yep, so he's dead. I'll kill your guy, I guess. Him? Yeah. Sure. I can't fucking see it. Um, well, that's one. I'm at nine. Draw. Let's promote. Let's evolve into high Andrew to go to seven. Draw. I'll evolve into defeat to go to four. Draw. I'll evolve into antibody to go to one. Draw. Swinging you for 16, killing your bride. Evolve into tank to go to zero. Draw. And then I'll evolve into Mokwaru to give you two. Draw. Uh, I'll be Digivolve here. I'm at five. D Digivolve. Right. Draw. Hatch. Let's evolve into Toy to draw. I'll evolve into Anybody to go to two. Draw. Oh Swinging you for 16, killing your Infer. Doesn't feel worth it. Not yet. Swing seven. Sure. Damn it. That's fine. Play toy, you'll go to one, go to three. Keep it. Uh, you don't have a blocker, right? Am I missing anything? No, but I can negate the attack if I wish. Oh, that's true. Whatever. Swing. Uh, um, yeah, feel free to draw. I'll debate if I want to do it or not. Um, no, you're good. Seven. Um, I'll do digital the guy again. Go to four. D digital vault. I'll draw. I'll go ahead and promote. I'll swing at you for two. Okay. And then I'll swing for a game with the defeat. GG's boss. Yep. Ega Zoo. Good to see it. I actually love this deck. You want to like punish all the rookie rush players? <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm maining for uh Alter S is just Oh dude. I was I was like, oh dude, the Alter S is so sick. I was like, how can I play around all this to Digivolve without my Gogmas in my hand? Oh my god, I don't know how. But either way, man, <laughs> GG's best luck for the rest of the event. Yep. Peace. Y'all, we are having some sweaters here. We are having some sweaters. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was the most stressful game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> Not really, but it was so weird, man. I'm just like, okay. Like, I don't have removal except for all rest. So, sorry, except for except for X anybody. So, we got to we got to do our best here, folks. Jesus. Okay. So, table 135, Steven Rodriguez, one, two dash one. Let me just make sure I can spell my own name. Bam. All right. Oh. 
I'm literally sweating. I'm so sweaty right now. Jesus Christ. Loved he's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, it's always yeah. I'm like oh he's he's 15. Oh my gosh. Love your deck, bro. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's super fun, man. Turbo tur 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 Turbo Black Defeat is a really awesome deck to mess around with. You ever played Digimon World 1? No, sadly. He's dead. <laughs> like, how else do you say, um, yeah, your guy's dead. Sorry. <laughs> you attacked. I'm stronger than you. People always forget that Gogma can target Digimon that aren't himself. That's the one that people get like all messed up on is like you can target anything you want. Yeah, I had uh, guys like when you fight against a deck like that, I thought to myself, okay, gotta play around Ragna, gotta play around Defeat, gotta play around anybody apparently, gotta play around Alter S. There's so many bombs in that deck, bro. Oh my gosh. How do you feel about Turbo Black Defeat? Right now, it's my favorite black deck to mess around with. I do love me some Dio Bormon. Don't get me wrong, folks. I enjoy it. But, uh... But this deck is so fun, man. Like, making a buff defeat is just dope. And then topping it off with X Annie Body? Bro! Name a better feeling in the world, man. Let me know. Digimon World 1 is super fun. Really? Um, I think the one that I'll be most interested in is Digimon World 3. I have a sub goal currently on my channel to where if we hit it, um, I'll play one of the many Digimon World games I haven't played, or I'll play Digimon Digital Card Battle. But World 3, I think, is the current like front runner for those games that I'd play. Do you play the promo Karamon? No, but you totally could. Another card you could do as well is in this deck is Chumon. I think Chumon's actually worth spots. I'm only currently playing one. It comes up very nichely, but it does come up, which is good. Are you running 2x anybody? Yeah, it's 2x anybody. 2x anybody for defeat. The best game? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm a big fan of JRPGs, not gonna lie. I'm a big, big fan of some JRPGs. Digital card battle is pretty fun. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. I need to double check if my food came. I don't think my food ever got ordered. I test the deck with Alter S and I like it. I contemplated running Run Alter S, but the only card I could think of to take out is a copy of Ultimate Flare. And I think that would be good, but they both lose to Nightmon. So like, I just, I guess I just rather have a card that isn't dependent on me having a black Mega in play versus a card that just requires me to have a black Digimon, if that makes sense. That's why I think Ultimate Flare is a bit better, but uh, Are you playing an Evolution Cup on 25th? Not the 25th, but I'm playing in the one tomorrow. Playing in the one tomorrow, and I'm playing in the one on the 26th, I believe. 
Are you gonna stream all the tourney in here or are you gonna do move to Twitch? So yeah, after the next round, y'all, we're gonna move the party over to Twitch. If you have not done so already, be sure to follow me over there. Link is down below in the description or type in the chat exclamation point Twitch. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button. Give us some more like spike energy to keep the salty run back going. Also to help boost us in the algorithm because liking live streams is broken on, on YouTube for some reason. What's your record? I'm currently 2-1 through three rounds playing some Black Defeat, and we have fought some crazy decks. Round one was Lord Naimon Slash, to be expected. Round two was Diabormon, and round three was Ragna Zoo, or I guess Omni Zoo is a more accurate term, because he played like all the Omnimons. He played Defeat, he played Anybody, he played Altares. That's a lot. Would you play a dual ex a dual links version of Digimon? So like a mobile version of the game? I would be open to it, sure. It just depends on the, what the rules of the game are, I guess. Like how much about the game do they change? If they get rid of the memory gauge, I don't think I don't think I would like it. <laughs> and the memory gauge and the memory gauge sounds hard to use in like a mobile fashion. Like constantly having to like pay costs is not really good for a mobile gaming experience. You want everything to be like automated and stuff, just like click and go, click and go. Ah, thank you, Sir Chappie. Appreciate the good luck, y'all. Appreciate it. Nice. Win out like you say. Yes! The king of the salty run back is going, folks. We have got to keep the dream alive. Finally finished before time. <laughs> Way to go, Alex. They should make this exact game for console slash PC, bro. Bro, 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 bro. I think I, I said it before, I'll say it again. Guys, whenever World's Finals happens, I promise you there's gonna be some something online client-esque. It probably won't be like an official online client, but it'll be like a beta of something super sick that they're gonna try to workshop with us. It's gonna be great, man. I can't wait to see it. That's what I hope anyway. That's what I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. And if they don't, if they just debate us and be like, we're doing it in person, I'll be like, well, that's awesome, but damn it. <laughs> so close. So close to a lifelong dream. I guess that is true. Automatic memory is cool, but like having to like pay the specific cost to go down and up, it seems like too many clicks. How many you win? Two out of one. Wait, two, two out of three. <laughs> I was thinking the same debuting for Worlds. Exactly, so like they're gonna work on what they think is like a really good product, then they're gonna use it for the Worlds, and then we're as the top players gonna use it for the Worlds Finals, and then afterwards they're gonna be like, so what'd you guys think, what'd you like? And they're gonna like survey the top players to be like, was this a true representative experience of playing Digimon, and maybe do you think we could incorporate a ranked ladder, a way to buy cards, a way to influence um, booster packs in the future so we can be, all be, you know, in unison with each other. They're probably gonna workshop that with us because they wanna make sure they have a good product before they send it out there, right? That's what I think is gonna happen, 10,000%. How do you think they'll go about digitizing our decks? So I think at first it'll be like how Pokemon TCG did it back in the day where like slowly as like, you know, co code packs become more centralized, they're gonna give us what are known as like booster box packs where whenever you buy a new booster box, there's one little code that essentially will give you a digital booster box because they can't retroactively add codes, right? They have to be a proactive thing. They're not gonna reprint every set and give them code cards. They're gonna give you guys special code cards within booster boxes of like the newest set that comes out after the release and then you can download those and then eventually they're gonna just put them in every single pack. That's what I think is gonna happen. Steven, I'm coming for the good vibes. Got a win a match store championship tonight. Taking Lord Mass Day tonight. Get after it, ARX. 07's in the chat. Just get the team that made Hearthstone XD. <laughs> yes. The Twitch link appears to be broken, but the ones in the live stream are fine. Hmm. 
Let's find out together, chat. I usually test all my links before I go live with any to make sure they work for stuff. Hmm. It is broken. I'll fix it. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'll fix that later. How is the health of the game currently? I don't know what that question means. The game is not sick. <laughs> How many rounds is it going to be? I think it's going to be eight rounds today. Could be nine. Wouldn't be surprised if it's nine. But we only have one round left here to stream on Twitch. After that, we're going to stream the rest of them, however many it's going to be over on Twitch. Link is down below or type in the chat exclamation point Twitch. Yeah, my guess is eight as well. Time. We still have 11 minutes, man. Guys, did that Mega Zoo match feel long? It felt so long to me. To be fair though, all the matches today feel long. I don't know why. Any surprising decks this format? Well, I experienced the format like, like I'm always constantly searching for new archetypes to mess around with and people at my locals are actually kind of crazy and they can make some nuts stuff. Um, I just fought against Ragnazoo, which I did not expect to fight against today. So yeah, that was definitely a surprise. Definitely had to navigate that one like to the best of my ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having like eight plus memory worth of, worth of decisions to make is just something I'm not used to, man. Your food come yet? It is on its way. I double checked. Only one question. Why black, lol? Um, I love this deck. I find it really fun. I didn't want to be too sweaty today and just play like the best version of Lord Nightmon that I have available to me. Um, which I don't even think Star-Lord's the best version. It's one of my favorites and I like playing with it. Um, I thought it'd be pretty fun for stream while also being a super sweaty deck. Um... But I didn't feel like um, playing it like two tournaments in a row. I, pl I played it for my store championship on Tuesday. So I decided just to bring this deck. I do love this deck. I think it's solid. As long as you draw your defeats, draw your outs, man. You can beat anything in this format, I feel like. But I do have a third deck that's kind of meme -y that I might try out as well. I might save it for a store championship. I might save it for this, for the Top Cut event tomorrow. I don't know. I'll do some maybe light testing tonight to make my final decision. But for now, I'm chilling. What'd you order? I got McDonald's. All we need is sustenance. We need to just keep going. I'm going to inhale some McDonald's when it gets here. And we're going to go, 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 go. Do you think Shaman works better with or without BT5, Agumon, Greymon, Omni X, anybody? Um, it's more consistent without those cards. Sure, you can search for like Zeke Greymon and stuff, but you can't like consistently chain up properly because you have all these weird cards that don't really do anything with your deck. But I don't, I don't hate that that engine. Like having that engine for like access to more one drop evolutions is really cool. But it basically like forces you to hard play stuff. Where if you're gonna hard play something while you already have a champion in your hand, I would argue hard playing something like a two drop is way better. How did Tuesday go? I got third place. Went X1, lost in the finals. I was the only undefeated going in. Sorry, I was one, one of the two undefeated going into the last round. What's your score? 2-1. Two,
Can I think about what the new promo Digimon coming with BT6? All of them except for Curse Saramon or whatever. Curse Saramon's dope. There. Any tips for playing your first big event? Pick something you're comfortable with. Um, have some friends in like a little chat that you can talk to in between rounds. Kind of like I'm doing with y'all. Have some food because you can always forget to eat in the middle of the hecticness. Relax. Rely on your knowledge. Don't make calls you've never made before unless you feel you have to. Boom. All my tips for big events. First big event anyway. I can't even remember the first region. I honestly don't remember the first. Oh no, I do remember it. Wait, do I? What was my first Vanguard regional like? I don't think I remember my first one. I definitely remember my second. My second one is gonna scar me for the rest of my life. And then I definitely remember my first Pokemon event. It was the LA or Anaheim regionals in 2016? I think fall of 2016, I fought against Israel Souza in like round four. And I just was like, what does Darkrai do? <laughs> oh man, I was so dumb back then. Any Pokemon players in the chat will know what I'm talking about. Did you play Buddy Fight? I did. I love Buddy Fight. I loved Buddy Fight, I should say. I played second in my locals yesterday. I played Budget Chaos Galamon. Now I'm invested to play even more Digimon. Yes, Dark Smiley! Love to see it. I also love Chaos Galamon. That deck's so fun. Have you tried the Naruto TCG when it was out? No, but I did have some friends that played it back in the day. I saw what it looked like. I heard of what decks were good. I can't remember which one was like the best. I heard like Reincarnation. Is that an archetype? Reincarnation? It's funny because I'm in a fantasy football league with Kenny and Mark, the other two of the so-called dark trio. <laughs> oh man. You know, in my years of playing Pokemon, I never, I don't think I ever played against Kenny. I fought against Christy, I fought against Jimmy. I don't think I ever fought against Kenny though. He was always around though. Like, I, like he was always next to me, I think, whenever we would play. Uh, I, I, I remember that. Oh no, that's not true. I played him in Arizona. Oh my God, this memory is so in my brain. Uh, he was playing Fairy Box Toad and we were at a, I don't even know what it was. I think it was a Cities. I want to say it was a cities in Arizona that I drove five hours to. Jesus, why was I so? Why did it, why did I have so much free time as a kid, as a as a teenager, bro? Oh my god! I literally took an entire weekend to drive to Arizona to play in three different uh, Pokemon events. Oh man, we were wildin' back in the day, folks. But you know, I remember that like it was yesterday because I remember being like, whoa, that deck is dumb. And he would like max potion his freaking toad. And I'm like, well, that thing's never dying. I was playing YZG. I'm like, bro, bro, what? What? <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, Stefan, dude, Tidemon is such a fun deck. Tidemon's so fun, Bond of Friendship is fun, Jessmon's fun, like all the OTK-centric decks in BT6 are crazy. 
Titamon's more of a rush-focused one, but being able to attack twice with that bad boy for four damage in a single turn is a pretty sweet. And you also like plus three the turn you do that. It's pretty funny. My favorite buddy fight deck. So I quit. So I stopped playing buddy fight because my entire local scene for buddy fight died after set four. However, my favorite set was when Dungeon World got introduced, and I played uh, Tasuku Dungeon World. <laughs> that deck was broken. Uh, but if I had to pick a deck that I probably would have liked the most. Anything Hero World related would have been really cool, but I never got a chance to play with Hero World because the, the the game died in my area by the time that came out. So upsetting. But yeah, Hero World would have been sick. It's funny because Mark beat Kenny in a final, so we meme Kenny about it all the time. That was their Greninja Mirror, wasn't it? Wasn't that like their famous Greninja Mirror? I remember watching that game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Did Mark win that? Yeah, yeah, Mark Garcia won that, for sure. What are we at time-wise? One minute left in regular time, so about six minutes left total until they announce uh, that this round's over and the next round should be getting started after that. Whenever they manually input, I'm oh, sorry, let me do it again. Whenever they manually input the scores. I'm so sorry, my, I forgot I had a hat. I did not have the spatial distance. <laughs> if you have headphones, I'm sorry. It was Evil Tall Maxis versus Greninja. Ah, I knew one of them played Greninja. It was definitely Kenny. But, um, uh, okay, really quick, y'all. I'm gonna go use the restroom and get some more water. Hopefully my food gets here, like, right when I finish playing the next round. So that way I can just destroy some food while we get ready for the Twitch stream. Follow on Twitch, like the stream, enjoy the little break and the music, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Our food is here. They have not announced time yet, so we need to speed run some food. Time to inhale some McDonald's. I didn't get a straw. No straw. This is dangerous. I have straws downstairs.
Bam. Perfection. Let me pull up the chat here. Okie dokie. I do have Beyblades in the back. Bam. Right there. Still in box. Mm-hmm. I was way into Beyblade Burst when it came out. I fell off after um, uh, Beyblade Burst God, because college. But I loved collecting those. We would bring my stadium and stuff to the card shop, and the shop would hate us because of the burst bays. They're very loud, and they make a big mess. <laughs> Oh, dude, Beyblades are goaded, man. Hold on, let me pull up the Discord chat. All right, so they call time. We probably have like five or ten minutes. Gotta inhale. Ha <laughs> ha. Diaborma will have its time, Dark. Diaborma will have its time. Patience is a virtue. My door closed by itself. Ghosts? We're cool. <laughs> like spaghetti. <laughs> you have actual Beyblade tournaments at your shop? Oh, that's dope. Yeah. All right, so they just called extra time, overtime. Let's hope they take for once in, for once in your life. Take a long time to get pairings up. By the way, guys, reminder, this will be the last round that we're streaming here on YouTube, round four. Then we're gonna head over to Twitch. Be sure you're following, link down below. Smash the like button for this mukbang, McDonald's mukbang, and give us luck for the next round to continue the salty run back halfway through this tournament. I believe and so should you.
Where do I rank uh, McDonald's fries? What's the list? You, you can't just say where do you rank them un unless you tell me what I'm ranking them against. Like give me a like like give me a list of three. I'll tell you all you gotta know about them, right? At least three we need. <sighs> oh baby. And then the viewer numbers just <laughs> Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, easy. Definitely Dean Engine Revolution Twilord. That's a busted mechanic. Dude, I'm a speed run eater king. Like, I'm, I'm just sitting here enjoying my nuggies. Best of me talks to McDonald's. So it depends on my mood. Okay. If I want something simple that I know is bomb. Always barbecue, no question. But if I want to take my taste buds for a ride and like spoil myself for the day, I'll get two. I'll get their bomb spicy mustard and their bomb buffalo sauce. And what you do is you go like this. You take any nugget, you go, you grab it by, by its haunches in the middle. You dip one end in the spicy mustard, dip the other end in the buffalo, you go bite. Bye. And you just let the flavor like envelop your mouth and then you just take the naked one for a palate cleanse. Mm. That is a good McDonald's nugget when you do it right. Now this is not, that was just an example. I wanted something simple and it's hard to order two different sauces online so I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, it's honey mustard. I, I kept calling it spicy mustard. I mean the I mean the honey mustard. Yeah, so spicy buffalo, honey mustard. Those are the two. One and one. Bite bite. Finish. Alex lens. Boom. Best nugget at McDonald's. Best bite of nuggets right there. Oh, McDonald's nuggets with McDonald's honey is actually, but they don't always have the honey. You have to ask and they don't always have it.
We did it. Still plenty of time to spare, I bet. I'm gonna go wash my hands before I handle any of my delicate cards. I'll leave the screen up so you guys can admire my background some more if you guys care. Let it focus in on there. Yay. I've returned. Ah, <sighs> I am now satisfied, satiated, and ready to rumble. Let's get ready to get demonetized. <laughs> Did you know that Let's Get Ready to Rumble is trademarked by whatever that man is? His name is like, what, Ted Fred Savage? No, that's the actor. What's his name? What's the name of that referee guy that goes, Let's get ready What's his name? I'm trying to think of it. No one tell me. Uh, can't think of it. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I think chat's ever typed in. In the history of my chat. That's the best. Bruce Buffer. Michael Buffer. Travis Barker. There's all these guys. No one knows. No one knows this man's name. Bob Barker, yes. Wait, no, it's not Bob Barker. Bob Barker is the host of the was the old host of the Price is Right. Get out of here.
Bruce Buffer. How's round four started? It should be going up pretty soon. I am currently X1. Are you worried about any specific matchups? Uh, Lord Naimon, if I don't draw defeats are hard. Um, <sighs> Rookie Rush is bad if I don't draw Ultimate Flare or get enough blockers to survive long enough to beat them anyway. Green can be challenging. D of Ormond, as we learned, can be hard, but we figured it out halfway through, which is good. Um, after that, I feel pretty confident with everything else, I think. I'm trying to think if there's any matchups that I don't like. Like, Hexablau can be annoying. But we can... We can deal with it. Ugh. Do you have experience selling cards online? I've never, like, ran, the, ran a storefront before, but I have sold cards to people. Like, via Facebook, personal friends, or uh, vendors, yeah. I need to just casually throw in Michael Buffer in the next match, just like casually talk about him. All right, round four pairings are up, folks. Let's do it. Last round that we're streaming here on Twitch. Type one in the chat if you think we're gonna win. Type two if you think we're gonna lose. And I'm at table 58. Smash the like button, give us all the luck we need in the world to continue the salty run back train before we head over to Twitch and let us begin wherever the button is. What was it, 58? What did I say, 58? I did. Bam. Howdy, howdy. Hello? Hi, what's up? Hi, what's going on? How you doing today, friend? Yeah, I'm fine. Nice. Are you cool if I stream this, by the way? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Give me one second. Perfect. Say to your chat that my English is very, 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 very bad. Oh, oh no, no worries. You're fine. <laughs> We know what the cards do. Yeah, yeah. I've played I've played card games with deaf people. It's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, do you want me to cut any special way? Yeah, whenever you're done, just cut half and seven. Okay. And then it's uh, two dice high roll good to pick who goes first? Yeah, the higher dice, uh, if you want, the higher go first. Sure. One dice. I got six. Five for me. All right, two so I'll be first. going first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cutter tap for me. Uh, cutter tap my deck, my man. Uh, the same way. Half and seven? Half, half and seven. You yeah. got it. And then after that, I think we're good to start, so best of luck to you. Okay, good luck to you. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Let's go ahead and hatch Kapurimon. I'll evolve into Command Dramon to draw. And then I'll evolve into Seals Dramon to give you two and draw. Okay. Let's. Sure. Uh, for Estamo here for zero, draw. And for two, uh, Falco. And for two, Leonmon. Go to. I'm at two. Draw. I'll go ahead and evolve into Megatron to give you one and draw. Okay. I will promote the Starmon. Sure. And for two or one. I'm at one. one. Draw. Promote. Swing at you for seven. Okay. Needle. Sure. Put you on my hand. I'll go and evolve into Metal Garurumon to give you two. Draw. Activating the Digiburst. Let's go ahead and get rid of your mm, Lylemon. And then right. reboot. Uh, okay, for two Aruramon. Go to zero. 
and four a spiral masquerade. One, two, three, of the list. Draw. Hatch. It's going to evolve into toy to draw. Let's go ahead and play Chumon to go to one. And then I'll play a Gurumon and give you one. Okay. Draw. Cut. Salamo for zero. Draw. I will check security with Estarmon. 13, it's dead. Okay. I will check security with Aruramon. One, you're fine. I will check with Rotamamon two. Twelve, it's dead. For for three go two. Starmon and kill uh, el Chumon. Sure. Draw. Let's promote. I'll go ahead and swing at you for three. Okay. Cool. One. Survive. Swing at you for two. Three. Dice. Play War Monsemon, I'll give you three. Okay. Promote Salamon. Restan Aruramon. Draw for turn. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I will check with Salamon to security. For you, Pamon, I will draw one card because I have two or less. Three, she's dead. Just go ahead and recover now. Dead and recover one. Starmon security. I'll go first for game two. Okay. Cut her tap. Cut her tap. Uh, the same way from half and seven. Sure. Same for me or any... Whenever you're done, different... half and eight. Eight, okay. Half and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you start, I'm first. I start, whatever I'm first. you want. Okay. I'm first. Good luck. Best of luck. Let's go ahead and hatch Kapurimon. Go and evolve into Toyagumon to draw. And then I'll evolve into Dark Tyranno to give you one draw. Okay. You come on. Let's start on here. Draw and for two, Falcomon go one. Draw. Promote. Activate Izzy, you'll go to three, revealing one, two, three, or stay at three. I'll go ahead and go Agurimon, Tyranimon, body. Over to you. Oh, okay. Estamon here. Mm -hmm. That Tirano is a uh, 5k. 5k. Right? 5K. Yeah. Okay, I will use a Blinding Ray. Sure. Trust in the first. Gain to memory. I will take Leolmon. I'm three. 
I will take Terry Mount here, go zero, and start Mount three. One, two, three, four, five. Killing Dark Tirano. Draw. Go three. Hatch. Evolve. Flare, give you five. Your whole board's dead. Okay. Love Mount here. Draw, Falco on here, I'm three, and Pastor, go hey, three. I'm at three. Draw. Promote. Let's play Seals, I'll give you two. Okay. Promote Love Mon. Mm -hmm. Evolve to Ruge, one, draw. <clears throat> I will check security with Falco. Block for six, he's dead. I will check security with Turuye. Uh, ultimate Flare, it'll die. Okay. I'm Pastor. Sure. Three. Mad three. Draw. Etch. Let's go ahead and evolve into Gogma to go to zero. Draw. I'll go ahead and activate the effect to give him plus 2,000. I'll swing at you for nine. Love Mon. Evolve in the Dark Tyrant will give you one draw. Okay. Draw. Hot. Salamon here. Draw. Maruramon for two. I go three. One. Draw. Three. Yep. Let's evolve into War Greymon to go to zero, draw. I'll swing at you for okay. 12. Salomon. And then I guess I'll... Swing at you for five, go to two. Okay. Good, I'm on. Uh, and then reboot. For two, Leormon. Go to zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. I will check security with Harura. Block. Nice. Spiral go for killing your Dark Tirano. Sure. Draw. Let's evolve into his word defeat to go to one. Draw. Let's evolve into Toyagumon. Draw. I'll swing at you for 14. Turuye. And then for turn, I'll evolve into anybody. Give you two. Draw. Okay. Uh, two. Okay, that's yours. I don't have nothing. You're scooping? Uh, your game. I don't have nothing. Are you scooping? Are you scooping? Yes or no? Uh, sorry? Are you, you're scooping, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, Go cool, 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 to cool, cool. round three. Just want to make sure. Let's see the next. That I don't have anything nope. in hand, so no I need can't to. Do no anything. need to explain yourself, man. It's your decision. Yeah. <laughs> First or second for game three. Yeah. Let's go round three. Do you want to go first or second? Yeah, I go first. Okay.
Cutter tap. A half an eight. Half an eight, you got it. And then for you, whenever you're done, half and nine. Five. Okay. Whenever Good you're luck. ready, best of luck. I had you, Pamon. Uh, uh, uh. Small here for zero. Draw. Arura, I'm on for two. No match two. two. Draw. Match. Let's evolve into Toyagumon to draw. I'm going to evolve into Dark Tyranno to go to one draw. Then I'll go and evolve into Gogma to give you two draw. Okay. Promote Pulsmon. Okay, for three Lovemon, go one, see the first. I will take it. Uh, I will draw here. I don't take it. And you go. I'm, I'm sorry, you. Did you not I, take it? I, I see, I see, but I don't take it. Okay, so okay, you're fine, you're fine. You're, you're I fine. I don't draw anything. Yeah, yeah, go you're on. good, you're good. I'll draw for turn. Promote? Okay. I'll go ahead and activate Gogmamon's Digiburst uh, to give him plus okay. two until the end of the turn. I'll go ahead and swing at you for 10. Okay. It's a needle, I will take sure. it. Sure, sure, sure. And then I'll evolve into Blastmon. You'll get to draw Reboot. Okay. For zero here, Cutemon. For one here, Turuye. Go to one. I will check security with Fusemon. That's fine. Six, he's dead. Okay. I will check security with Arura. Six, it's dead. And for... For two, oh one. Oh, Number no. one, draw. Match. Let's evolve into Toy Agumon to draw. I will swing at you for 14 plus one security. Do you wish to block with any of your dudes? Okay, I can't. Oh, well, so Blast oh, well, I, I can I can block. But you I already, can block. Yeah, I, uh, you already checked the cards though, my man. I saw Yeah, them. but... So oh, like, I reveal? Okay, okay, I reveal. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I, that's why no, I no asked worry. you like as I, as, I, as I was attacking. Yeah, don't worry, don't my worry. My bad, I man. My okay. bad, you got ahead of me there. Nah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Uh, mm, you're in one. Yeah, I'm just debating uh, my next play. Yeah, okay. I'll play Chumon to give you two. Go ahead. And then reboot. Right. Chumon here. Okay, I will use a blinding. Go uh, for uh, the first. So Chuman, you can still trash, but you won't gain any memory. Okay. So okay. well, so yeah, I'll let you so, take it back. Yeah, but you but you could actually still legally activate it and trash the card, but it's okay. I'm too. Okay. So 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 so.
Okay, I will check security with Kidmon. Sure. You Pamon draw one card. Six, it's dead. Nice. For two, Aruramon. Go to zero. And for two, another Aruramon. Go sure, to. I'm at two. Draw. Let's promote. I will swing. Would you like to block with any of your dudes? Yeah, I will sure. block with Aruramon. Sure. You're good. Swing for one. Five. Nice. I'll go ahead and activate Ultimate Flare to give you six. You're, I'll de off the Terrari and then everything's dead. I'm six. Cut. Okay, for two. Go to four. I'm in four. Oh, this reboots, by the way. For Spiral, I will kill your Chumon. Chumon's dead. And for two, Leolmon, go to. Okay, draw. Catch. Let's evolve into Hagura to draw. I'll swing at you for 14. Would you like to block with anything? Pilgrimon. Okay. I'll play Ultimate Flare to give you six. Let's kill the board. Reboot, over to you. Okay, this is yours. I don't have anything. You're scooping again? For you. Yeah, it's for, for you, the game. GG's, boss. Yeah, be GG. This matchup is literally whether or not, like, I see Ultimate Flare. Like, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah, I mistake for, for the first... Uh, for the first last one. Yeah, yeah, the first plus one was, was hard. Yeah, I was like, I would let you took it back, but just, like, like if, if it was just one card, I would let you took it back. But I saw both the cards, and I'm like, now I can like perfectly yeah, yeah, plan around I your know. security, bro. That's not fair to you either. Uh, no. Yeah, it's oh, not. It's nice. uh, okay, it's not fair, but okay, no, no problem. No, it's something is. It's happened, so it's all good, man. No it's all good, man. We've all made mistakes before. People to all day today have been forgetting about like what Gogmamon does or what Mega Dramon does. It's totally chill, bro. Yeah, don't, don't worry, don't worry. It's no, no, happened nothing. So not a problem. But hey, best okay. luck to you for the rest of the event, bro. Yeah. Okay. Peace. You too. Bye. Guys, there's no reason to speed through stuff, man. Take your time. Ask questions. Always assess the game state before you make decisions. I, I would have let it take. I would have let him take it back, but like, dude, I saw two security cards there, man. I let him take back the blinding ray, bro. <laughs> like, uh, come on, man. At a certain point, it's irrepar It's irreparable. You accepted it, man. Mm, 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 mm. It had nothing to do with like. Language barrier stuff. I said, would you like to block? As I was doing it, he just took the security. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. It's all right though, it happens. Everyone everyone forgets things. People just like go, there's a body. That's all there is, right? In game one, I didn't see ultimate flare. In games two and three, I did. <laughs> that's, how, that's how the matchup goes. I know, right? I, yeah, I let him take back the blinding ray one too. If I had a tank mod in my hand, I would have evolved into it too. Think. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe speak a bit slower. I mean, I said it as fast as I could, man. Evolve into Blastmon, activate effect, pass. Like, the onus is not on me to give my opponent information. The onus is, is on my opponent to ask if he wants clarification on anything. Right? That's all it is, right?
If Opie doesn't understand what you thought, it was more of a of a of a way for me just to make sure that he was choosing to uh, lose the game. Clearly, he was, but I I always like making sure that they understand what they're doing to the best of their ability. And so I'm just asking. So you're conceding. So you're scooping all those things. We all know he was gonna do it. I, I don't think he was gonna take it back. It wasn't one of those things. It's just like I want to make sure that he's aware that I know what he's doing. It wasn't so I could clarify with him. It was so he could know that I'm agreeing with him that it's okay to go to game three. You have to declare effects, actually. That's what I was doing. I said, would you like to block with anything? And then as I was saying it, he just took it, right? Take black all the way to the top. Ah, oh, thanks, Leechy. I appreciate the support, brother. I meant for the cutter tap part. Cutter tap is like whatever. Cut half. Like, like, I, like, like, could I have done a better job of making sure he understood my board state? Yes, but the onus is not on me to tell him my board state. The onus is, is, is on him, if he doesn't understand anything, to ask for clarification. And then I'm obligated to give it to him if it's public information. Like, he's allowed to ask any questions he wants about my board state at every point in the game. Now, if he makes it clear at the beginning, hey, I have no idea what any of your cards do. Please explain them to me whenever you can. I'd be like, sure, I can do that for you throughout the game, you know, and and I'm not giving him, I'm, I'm not giving him any bad information too. He played perfectly fine. He was a guy that knows what he wants to do and he wants to do it. I don't blame him. Like he wasn't playing badly. He just kind of like was making decisions not with complete information. And then maybe he did have the information and just like faltered and, and got nervous and just went for the thing and then forgot. And it got to a point where I'm like, bro, I don't think I can let you take that one back, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was, that was right there. <laughs> Uh. That's all it was. Yeah, yeah, it happens, guys. I I let people take things back all the time. I, I got, Lord knows, I make so many mistakes about game states. Jesus. <laughs> uh. But at a certain point, like, mistakes happen because they're accidents or they're things you just forgot about. Or they happen because you're not taking count of everything that's happening in the game, right? Like, at a certain point, when when is one really happening, right? Hard to, hard to say. You, you got past the rookie rush. Oh, guys, that... That matchup is literally so boring. It's do I draw ultimate flare? Like it's the most boring matchup in the in the format right now. Like you guys could tell I'm just sitting there going, do I draw ultimate flare? Do I draw ultimate flare? In that first game one, I went for a super sick play of like, you better have Digimon plus Spiral right now. Otherwise we're chilling. Uh, but he did. So I was like, ah, oh, damn. Now I need to draw ultimate flare. And then I didn't. So it happens. If I literally followed my turn up with evolved rookie ultimate flare. Oh my God. Give him four, pass it back. He just lost four cards. That would have been spicy, boys. <laughs> I was like, this Melgaruna has blocker. He'll just be blocking everything, attacking every single turn, never dying. Let's go. Dude, what about Blastmon, dude? Like, literally, Blastmon is so hard for Rookie Rush players to out, man. He's 13 base. They need five dudes just to kill him once. And then with Gogma, he's 16. One Gogma, he becomes 18. One more Gogma, he becomes 19, uh, 20. That is a beefy boy. <laughs> I literally had the choice in my hand of High Andromon or, or Blast. And I'm like, dude, we go Blastmon here. Because <laughs> he swings for security or he controls their board, which I'm cool with either option, man. Like, if every turn I just kill one more dude, that's one more dude that you can't use to kill my Blastmon. That, that was actually the first time I ever used that. That was super sick, man. Like, you either take two damage or you lose a dude. I'm cool with either happening. Do you think Black will, st will still play Ultimate Flare in BT6 or swap to the new Punch card? I could see... um. I could see uh, Ultimate Flare still being considered like one of the strongest decks, the uh, one of the strongest cards the color has access to, no question. Uh, but anyways, y'all, that is it for round four of the Gen Con Online DC One Grand Prix. Our first four rounds were Lord Nightmon, we lost, boo. Round two, Diabormon, we won, yay. Round three, Ragnazoo, we won, yay. Round four, just now, Rookie Rush, we won, yay. We are now going to end the YouTube stream and transition over to Twitch. If you have not already, be sure to follow. Link is down below or, or type in the chat exclamation point Twitch so you don't miss out on the rest of our tournament. Find out how well we go. Do we continue the salty run back or do we take an L? 
Let's find out together. If you guys have not already, be sure to leave a like on the stream. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If this is the last time that I am seeing you today and you are not joining us for the Twitch portion of today, thank you so much for stopping by and giving us support as always. It means the world to me. You guys are the reasons why I don't drive myself crazy waiting 20 extra minutes for rounds to be inputted. Thank you so much. Uh, I, will be, I will be live again tomorrow here on YouTube uh, with the Top Cut Evo Cup. Going to be so much fun. No idea what I'm playing for that as of right now, but I have some ideas. So be sure to stick around and see how what we do in that tournament as well as this one. If you do want updates but don't want to watch the stream, follow me on Twitter. Link is also down below. Regardless, all that being said, I have been your true champion, Steven. Please be sure to work hard, rest easy, stay safe, happy, and healthy. And I will see you all next time. Where's the button? Peace.